Yes. The Lord sanctified the Sabbath day for us to worship him all, which is the seventh day of the week, not the first day of the week. Right. And that is written in a Z, uh, Exodus 20 of chapter system, brothers. That's in the Lord's command. Yes. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's just not an option. It's a commandment to have a holy convocation on the Sabbath day. Yeah. And then he told you, forsake not the assembly. That's right. Don't forsake the assembly. So every chance you get, sisters and brothers, you should be here on the Sabbath day. Yes. So we're about to do big things here in Cleveland. <laughs> and we need everybody here to participate in the things that the Lord is going to allow us to do. Yes. And that's why the Lord allowed me to put together this lesson today called, title, yes, sir. The Body of Christ yes. and the Behavior of a Christian. Yes. Yes. The body of Christ yes. and the behavior of a Christian. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in this lesson, we're going to show you that we all have to become part of that body of Christ. Yes. Man. And it is no I and team, sisters and brothers. Once you become a member of that body, no one is higher than the other. That's right. We are all equal right. in the body of Christ. That's right. yes. We are yes. all working for the same purpose, which is to get salvation. Yes. Yes. The only head of the body is Jesus Christ yes. right? and the Father. Yeah. All the rest of us are just members of the body. That's right. So everybody that's part of the body of Christ has a job to do in the body. Yes. Everybody's job is not equal, but everybody has a job yes. to make the body function. And so in order for us to grow here in Cleveland, we have to be one body. Yeah. In order for us to grow in every class, we have to be one body. Yes. yes sir. And we have to operate as one body. Okay? Yes, sir. And yes. we have to show community as one body. Even though Jesus is the head of the body, he was humble, even unto the death of the cross. Yes, yes, yes. he was. So let's open this right up because we got a long way to go. Okay. So this is a two part lesson. First, we're going to introduce you to the body of Christ, then, we're going to show you in order. For you to be part of this body and maintain your position in this body of Christ, how you must behave. Yeah. Not how you should behave, yeah. how you must right. Right. behave. Yeah. Okay? okay? Because uh, uh, so you have to adopt the attitude of a Christian. Yes. Because the word Christian is to be like Christ. That's right. right. Christ like. That's right. They were first called Christians at Antioch. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because they were followers of Christ. Yes. Paul said, I'm a follower of Christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to be a follower of Christ. That's right. Christian is not a religion. Yes. Christian is simply we are following Christ. Right. Yeah. Because the book tells us that Christ is the captain of our salvation. That's right. Yes. So everything that Jesus came to do, we have to do the same thing. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's what Isaiah the 61st chapter talked about. He says, Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. right, we got to adopt that same spirit. Let's pick this right on up. First Corinthians 11 chapter and verse 1. Read the law. Oh, oh man, we got to read the law, brother. Mm -hmm. We're going to let you grow without reading the law. No, we're going to read Let's read the law, brother. Yes, sir. Excuse, pardon the body, sister. That's okay. I'm just so need right. to run through this lesson. Yes, sir. You're going to read the law anyway. Yeah. Good. I was going to read Let's read the law, sister, brother. Go ahead. Exodus 20 chapter. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or yes, any sir. items of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, oh. and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Mm. Remember the Sabbath day to keep yes. it holy. That's right. Keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy mm -hmm. manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. 
Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor. That's right. Let us go to Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, and let's pick it up in verse 13. That's okay, Brother Derek. You don't got to open it all. Those up. You can it like that. Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, pick it up, verse 13. Go ahead, brother. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Some of the yes. duty of man. The whole oh, the duty of man. Okay. Whole Fear duty. God and keep his commandments. That's the whole purpose that God created you to do. Yes. Go ahead. To be just mm -hmm. like him. Go ahead. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be mm -hmm. evil. That's right. Revelation, the 22nd chapter. Revelation, the 22nd chapter. And let's pick it up at verse 12. Revelation 22 and 12. Revelation 22 and 12. We can get there, brother. Go ahead. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Yes. That they may have right to the tree of life and may enter into the gates and to the city. For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh the life. So if you want to enter into that city, sisters and brothers, and truly be part of that body of Christ, you have to keep his commandments. Amen. Because that's Amen. what you really truly gonna be. The body gonna truly be whole. That's right. When you get into the kingdom of God. Yes, mm -hmm. sisters and brothers. That's when that's going to be complete. So, as we said before, I forgot to read the law. The title of the lesson is The Body of Christ and the Behavior of a Christian. We don't need to do the intro again because all of us heard the first time. Let's get right on into the lesson. Okay? Yes, sir. Let's pick it up sir. at 1 Corinthians 11, chapter and verse 1. And let's see how the order of this body is. Because everything that the Lord does is order. Yes, sir. He has an order in everything he does, sisters and brothers. Every operation has an order. Yeah. Yeah. Every family has an order. Yeah. In order for us to be in the family of God, it has to be ordered. That's right. Because God is all about order. That's Nothing right. is out of order when it comes to God. That's right. So in order for us to serve God as servants, we have to be orderly. Yes, That's sir. Right. It always keeps talking about being orderly. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. First Corinthians 11 and 1. First yes. Corinthians 11 and 1. Go ahead, brother. 11 and 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Wait. Okay. He said, be ye followers of me, because mm -hmm. I'm bringing you the word. That's simply that's what right. I'm doing. Right. Yes. That's right. But if you follow him, he follows Christ, then you follow the word. That's yes. right. Because yes. who taught Paul? Right. Jesus. Jesus taught Jesus. Paul himself. That's Jesus. right. So yes. if don't nobody know the word, Paul knows the word. Yes. Because Jesus knocked Paul down. Yes, he did. Very good. Right. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Then he taught him himself the word. Yes. Then he said, Paul, why are you persecuting me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Because okay. in all Paul's okay. zeal, yes. he was a Pharisee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. But the thing about it, sisters and brothers, was the Lord changed his way of thinking. His, his way of thinking, he yes, could right. clearly see yes. what his purpose was. Right. Yeah. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. right. That's right. That's this right. This is what this lesson is about, showing what your purpose is. Yeah. Yes. You may think you're doing one thing the right way. But is it after the way the Lord wants you to do it? That's what the book said. Order my steps. Yes. In oh, your word. Okay. That's right. Word. Go ahead, brother. Okay. Verse 2. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. That's right. Go ahead. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Who's the head of the man? Right. Christ. Christ. Jesus is the head of the man, right? Yes, Go yes, ahead. Yes. And the head of the woman is the man. Sisters and brothers, this is not taking anything from the woman. But the head of your household, the head of your life, sisters, is supposed to be your husband. And if you don't have a husband, then Jesus is your head until you get a husband, That's then right. your husband becomes right. your head. That's right. And it's not taking anything because if you have a righteous husband that's serving God, That's right. he's following Jesus. Yeah. Right. 
-hmm. Okay, go ahead, brother. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Jesus is who? God. God. The Father is the head of Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is a perfect operation, right? Yeah. You got the head of the man is Jesus. Mm -hmm. The head of Jesus is the Father, and the head of the woman is the man. Yeah. That's why the book said a woman should not have any power over her own body. Okay. Because when you read this system, brother, even though this looks like it's talking about a physical thing, this whole scripture is really talking about the church. Okay. Which is the wife of Jesus, which we are. Yeah. You read this, you think this is talking about a physical marriage, but this is talking about the order of the church. And we're going to show you that. Let's skip on down to verse 10, brother. Skip on down to verse 10. Get down verse 10. I know I'm throwing this in for one thing. You got to stay yeah, with me, with you, brother. First Corinthians 11 and 10. Don't read the notes. Just follow me. Okay. First, your monkey balls in. Verse 10. Well, this cause out the woman to have power on her head because of the angel. Go ahead. Nevertheless. Neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in the Lord. Go ahead, keep going. For as the woman is the is of the man, even so is the man also of the woman. But all things of God. But some but, things are of God. But oh, all, all things, things, all, all things, things of are of God's sisters and brothers. <laughs> Let's skip on down to verse 18. For first of all, when you come together in the church, I hear that there be divisions among you. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. When you come together in the body, which is the church, should there be division in the church? No. 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 Should there be no. division in your household? No. no. Should your wife have you serve authority over the husband? No. Huh? No. Can, can I be a part of the body of Christ? You serve authority over Jesus? Not can Jesus all. you serve authority over God the Father? No. This is all part of the order. Yes. So yes. when we come together in the body of Christ in the church, there should be no division. Yes. That's right. We should all be one in the body of Christ. Yes, sir. Yes. We should all love one another. We'll say prefer one another. Yes. Mm -hmm. We must prefer. We must look up this brother's statue more than myself. Yes. I'm going to say, man, I got to make sure Brother Keenan is okay. Make sure Brother Ernest is okay. That's yes. right. Yes. That's right. Yes. Brother Wise is okay. Brother Gerald. Yes. Brother Pat, these are the elders of the class. Yeah. Right. I'm supposed to make sure these brothers are okay. Yeah. Me being the teacher. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Let, uh, let's let's go to 2 Corinthians 11 and 1. Because somebody does not understand, he's breaking this down because the church is married to Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's his wife. Yeah. He married this woman in the wilderness. That's right. When he gave her his law, statutes, and commandments. Okay. When he made us a nation. Yeah. We became his wife. That's right. Okay. But the only way you can remain his wife is if you keep his laws. Mm -hmm. And that's oh. the reason he put his wife away because she did not obey him. Yes. Uh. She did not obey him, did not keep his law statutes, so he had to put her away. Yes. But then he tells you in the book, in Ezekiel 16 chapter, I do believe it says, he said, hey, I didn't put your mother away. She put herself away. Yes. Right. I didn't put her away. She put herself yes. away. Yes. She walked away from me. So, sisters and brothers, once you become a part of this body, only you can walk away and decide right. that you were right. part of this body no more. You don't want to keep the Lord's law, statutes, and commandments right. no more. That's 2 right. Corinthians 11 and 1. Because Paul will tell you something here. Go ahead, brother. Would to God you could hear with me a little in my folly. Bear with me, uh -huh. go ahead. Bear a little with me in my folly, and indeed bear with me. He said, indeed bear with me a little bit in my folly. Why? Because these ain't words that come out the book, but this is something I want to tell you. Yeah. These are not the Lord's words, but I want to tell you this. Go ahead. Right. Verse 2. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. Uh-huh. Yes. For I have expound you to one husband. I have joined you to one husband. You now one with this husband. Yeah. But... What's going to make you not be part of this husband? Keep reading. That I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Sisters and brothers, do you know that Jesus' whole objective is on that eighth day to present his wife to the Father? Mm -hmm. That's his whole prayer has been. Yep. This is his wife. He wants to be able to present his wife to the Father. Yeah. Yeah. As a chaste virgin. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Not being indoctrinated with any paganism. Yes. Any false teachings. Mm -hmm. 
righteous. And he's going to do that. Yes, he Those is. who are still part of the body, yes, he that is. is. Go ahead. Yes, he is. Verse 3. But I feel less by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve. By any means as the serpent fooled Eve and deceived Eve. Then what? Go ahead. Through his subtility, through his craftiness. The book talks about through his craftiness. Satan was very crafty, sisters and brothers. Yes, he was. And this is the only way that you will be taken away from this body if you follow false teaching. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what is going on right now. These false prophets lead people astray. That's right. It tells you that. That's right. In Thessalonians, how they lead whole houses captive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a, a women laying in sin. Yeah. By false teaching. That's right. It tells you. Go ahead, brother. So your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Sisters yeah. and brothers, mm -hmm. this body of Christ is simple. It operates very simple. People make it hard. That's right. The church should be simple. Mm -hmm. All the church mission is to do is follow the laws of Christ. Follow Christ. That's right. You go to church and you get dumber than you were before you even came. That's right. And that's the right. time that's that's true. That's like sending your kids to school and they learn less when they get to the classroom. Yeah. Right. And this is what's going on. The world is getting even dumber by going to church. That's right. Because some man going to tell you that the first day of the week is the seventh day of the yeah. week. Okay. Yeah. Which Lord say, I change not. I don't change. That's right. Teach. Lord don't ever change. No. Go ahead, yeah, brother. Teach. Verse 4. Well, if Jesus then come and preach it. No, that's it. Let's go to, because he wants to present his wife. He says present his wife as a living sacrifice, right? That's he right. He wants to present your body as a living sacrifice. Yes. I'm going to throw something in here, sisters and brothers. Let's go to St. John 17 and 20. No, brother, we'll always throw stuff in here. I'm sorry, Patrick. That's all right. last minute, brother. <laughs> that's, why you, that's why we get you the power of the computer. You're right. Well, I know you got magic fingers back there, brother. That brother back there pecking away. Look at him. St. John 17 and 20 because he's going to do this. He's always been praying to do this. Yes. To present his wife yes. as a sacrifice. Yes. Go ahead, brother. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Because we all got to be part of this body. Yes. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. 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 He would believe that Jesus is praying for the whole world. Oh, no matter what you do, the Lord loves you. Is that true? Huh? The Lord said prayers of a sinner is an abomination to me. That's right. You keep on praying and keep on doing the same thing, he's going to eventually cut off his empty. So if you want the Lord to hear your prayers, you got to do some changes in life. That's yeah. right. So he, despite that, he said, I ain't praying for the world. I'm praying for these. Go ahead. Right. Neither pray I for these alone. But for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Now, this is Jesus talking to the Father. He said, they believe on me through their word, right? That's, that's through the right. word of God. Right. But what did he say? That they all may be one. Sisters and brothers, that we all may be one. Yes. We all may be one in this body of Christ. Go ahead. Yes. As thou, Father, art in me. Wait. He's, did we just read that? When we the first group we opened up with. That's right. The head of the Jesus is the Father, right? Yeah. So yeah. Father, you and me, go yeah. ahead. And I in thee, I am in you. Yeah. And what? That they also may be one in us. Sister brothers, that we all may be one, one. all yes. in all in Christ yes. and the Father. Yes, yes sir. That's yes. why he wants to present you. That's right. That we all, this is what he's gonna say. Hey, on the eighth day, I am in you, you are in me. And we are all in all. We are all one body now. That's right. Yes. That's right. We are all one body. Yeah. Did we finish that? Right. We finish that? Okay. No. Let's go. We throw one more in here. First Corinthians 15 chapter. Patrick. Patrick, <laughs> 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 give me he, every time I throw something in, he give me that eye. <laughs> he said, You should have gave it to me, but I don't got the written down. I'm just going. I'm winging it. Right. 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 So, young folks, see, I'm winging it. Yes, sir. Flow, brother. Because I got the right, right. to. Flow. First Corinthians 15 to 24 is what I want because this is going to happen at that eighth day, at that last day. This is why I keep talking about the resurrection. That Jesus was the first person in the slip and laid out Christ and it's coming. So in that resurrection, uh -huh. after the thousand years, yeah. when, when the Father come down, yeah. he will present you as a living sacrifice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And you have to be holy and acceptable. 
Right. And that's and the book is telling you that's just been your reasonable service since you've been created. Yeah. It's just reasonable for you to get salvation. Yeah. I mean, what more is that for you to get? First Corinthians 15, and let's pick it up verse uh 24. 15 to 24. Because this book is talking about the resurrection in this chapter. Okay. But then we're gonna get all the way to the end. Okay. Go ahead. Verse 24. Then comes the end. When he have, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God. So this is after. The thousand years, this is on the eighth day when Jesus is going to deliver his kingdom over to the Father. Right. When the Father comes down, what's going to happen? Even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. Uh huh. Well, he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. And, and the last enemy is what? Go ahead. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. And so he's going to put death under his feet, right? Nobody's going to die again after this. That's right. Go ahead. That's right. For he had put all things under his feet. But when he said all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted, which did put all things under his feet. And what is he going to say in verse 28, brother? And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him. Wait, he go turn over the kingdom to the Father, and he's going to be subject to the Father. Yes, yes. Cause we all try to get into the Father's kingdom. Yeah. Right. Right. You understand that? Yeah. That's our whole objective. And then what's going to happen when we get into the Father's kingdom? Go ahead. That put all things under him that God may be all in all. That way God, because we all become God at that time. That's yes, right. Because God is a uniform word. We yeah. all become in that Godhead family. Mm -hmm. That's why the book talking about Christ being the first proof, and they which are Christ and is coming, we all gonna be born into that family, yeah. that yeah. God family system. Right. Yeah. Because that's God has about. always been trying to create beings just like him. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Job said, When I see him, I shall be like, like him. him. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. I shall be just yeah. like him. Right. Yeah. Did you know that God said he created you in his image and yeah. after his likeness, but not after his kind. Right. But at the resurrection, you be after his kind. Right. Okay. And you be born into the God. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And we should be all in all, and we would be the complete body of Christ. Yeah. Right. Very true. Y'all understand that? Yeah. Yeah. But in order for us to get there, we have to learn how to behave. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep on going. Okay. Let's go back to um uh what, what did we leave off at? Yeah, first Corinthians 12 and 12. First Corinthians 12 and 12. Stop throwing stuff in, Brother Ken. I can't help. We ain't never going to read that again. <laughs> but I had to show y'all that. Right. That'd be a bad teacher if I didn't show you that, hey, this is what the Lord wants to present you. That's right. He wants to present you to the body. That's, that's right. his wife. That's right. So that's the true body of Christ. First Corinthians 12 and 12. Go ahead. First Corinthians 12 and 12. How many bodies is there, Brother Ken? Well, the body is one. The body is how many? One. There is only one body. Only one body. Only one body. Go ahead. And has many members. Wait, but this one body got many parts to it. It got many members. That's right. Go ahead. And all the members of the one body being many as one body. So also is Christ. Wait, so also is Christ. Go ahead. Well, by one spirit. One spirit. Are we all baptized? One faith and one baptism. The book always tells you that. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yes. We are all baptized. Go ahead. Into one body. We are back. That's how you get into this body system, but you have to be baptized. The book tells you Galatians, uh, uh, Galatians that you have to put on yeah. Christ. Yeah. And many of you were baptized unto Christ. Yes. You got to be baptized unto this body system, brother. That's yeah. how you join this body. That's right. Repenting. Yeah. Getting baptized in the yeah. name of Jesus for the remission of sin. Yeah. That's how you become a member of this body. Yeah. And keeping his commandments and taking part of the Passover. Yes. Yes. Because he is the Passover. Right. You have to cover yourself under the blood of Jesus to become part of his body also. That's right. Go ahead. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles. Wait. Are you telling me even the stranger can be part of his body? Yeah. He said whether you be Jews or Gentiles. Go ahead. Yeah. Whether we be bond or free. Yes. And have been all made to drink into one spirit. We have all been made to drink into one spirit. Go ahead, brother. For the body is... Not one member, but many. Uh huh. It's many. It's many members. Go ahead, keep reading. Pick it up a little bit. If the foot shall say, "Because I am not the hand, am I not of the body?" See, that's why we have to understand to be a little humble. Okay. Because everybody is needed. 
in his body. You might not be the leg, he might be the hand. Yeah, right. You might not be the head, you might be the mouthpiece. Yeah. yeah. But Brother Will's just a good mouthpiece of the body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You might not be a good mouthpiece, you might be the brains of the operation. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we are all one body. Okay. That's, That's right. right. That's and right. without every member of the body, the body can't function. That's right. true. I see. Yeah. Right. It's true. Keep reading, brother. It is therefore not any of the body. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, uh -huh. I am not of the body. That's right. So if anybody say, hey, because I don't got this position, I don't got this job, I, 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 I ain't part of the body. Right. Right. Yes, you are. Yes, you you are. still have to be part of the body. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Is it therefore not of the body? Uh -huh. If the whole body were an eye, where were, where were the hearing? If the whole body was an eye, who's going to do the hearing? <laughs> Go ahead. If the whole, uh, if the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? Who would smell? Go ahead. But now has God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it pleased Him. As it pleased who? God. As it pleased God. Yeah. So everybody's in a perspective role because this is what God wants you to do. That's right. He put you in this role yeah. in the body. Yes. As it pleased Him. Yeah. Yep. Everybody can't be a teacher. That's everybody right. can't be an evangelist. That's right. Everybody can't be a pastor, everybody can't be an elder, everybody can't be ahead of it. That's true. Everybody has to be in the perspective position of the body. Yes. Go ahead. And if they were all one member, where were the body? Go ahead. But now, are they are there many members, yet one body? And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. Nor again the head to the feet. I have no need of you. Let's skip on that in verse 25 for the sake of time. Go ahead. That there should be no schism. 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 schism, schism yeah. In the body. Hey, it sounded good. Schism. <laughs> but that the members should have the same care. Sisters and brothers, it should be no schisms in the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. It should be no division in the church. Oh, That's right. It should be no confusion. The book said, the Lord is not the author of confusion. That's right. It should be no misunderstanding in the body of Christ. That's right. Because everybody is just to do their role. That's right. Play their part. Yes, sir. Yep. If you are the janitor, you just be the best janitor that you are. That's right. right. That's right. Yes, sir. You, you prepare the food on the Sabbath day. You just do the best you can to prepare the, prepare the, prepare the food on the Sabbath day. That's right. Yes. You don't yes. gotta. If you prepare the food, you don't gotta come up here and teach. Yes. That's just not your job. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Everybody has to fulfill their part of the body. That's right. That's right. The person who cleans the church is just as important as the person teaching the church. Exactly. That's right. Because that's if right. I come in right. and teach and the church is jer uh, dirty, yes. but what would the people keep coming for? That's right. Go ahead, brother. So we all have that's to right. fulfill our part of the body. Go ahead. That's right. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer. Wait. Yes. If, if one member in here is suffering, we all are suffering. Yes. If one member hears a bad seed, yeah. then he's going to start spreading, and all the members are going to become bad seeds. Yes, that's, right. that's right. One bad apple rocks the bush, right. they say. Right. Yes. So go ahead. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice. <laughs> with Sisters it. and brothers, when I look good, I make Brother Bowie look good, I make Brother Patrick look good, I make the whole congregation look good. There you go. It ain't about me. Right. That's right. It's about God. All yeah. glory is to the God's Father. Yeah, exactly. All glory. Yeah. But when one person is good at doing what they're supposed to do, the whole organization yeah, is good exactly. at doing exactly. what we're supposed to do. Yes, Go ahead. Sir. Verse 27. Now, you are the body of Christ and members in particular. And you are the members of that body. Go ahead. And God has set some in the church. So God has given positions in the church. Go ahead. Verse apostles. Hey, first he gave some apostles, right? That's right. I'm not an apostle. That's right. Go ahead. Secondarily, prophets. Hey, he gave some prophets. I didn't say I was a prophet. Go ahead. <laughs> but we are doing the job of a prophet in this generation. Right. Right. We are prophesying what thus said the Lord. Right. right. Go ahead. Thirdly, teachers. Hey, that's all I mean. I'm, a, I'm just. That's the third. Obviously, teacher. 
Yes, sir. Okay. Man. After that miracle, hey, you got some people that can anoint the people like the elders. Yeah. And like James the fifth chapter, he, so he called for the elders of the church yes, to anoint them to pray over yes, them. Yes, and he right. said the prayers of their faith shall save the sick. Yes. You got some people that can do some healing in the church. Come on, man. That's right. Health, governments, diversities of tongues. You got people that are administrators over this body. Yes. They do the executive part. That's right. Do the paperwork. Yes. yes. Do all these things. Yes. That's right. Sister and brother, we all have a job to do in the church, yes, in the body of Christ. You just got to pick one and do it. Yes, sir. Because I tell everybody, if you're not working for the God of Israel, you're unemployed. <laughs> you ain't got a job. Right. You go to your 9 to 5 just to get paid, but what about that real payday? Right. Right. Uh, that's right. Yeah. The Lord will weigh you in the balance yeah. and say, you yeah. slack it, you don't get paid. Okay. Okay. That's the real payday. You're supposed to be working in that vineyard. Right. Yeah. And when you work in that vineyard, right. like you used to be back there watching the movie Picking Cotton, the yeah. man is picking the cotton, he didn't worry about the person next to him picking cotton. That's he right. picked his cotton. That's right, right, right. That's all you got to do is worry about your job. Yeah, right. You yeah, work in the video. Right. 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 And you right. worry about his job, right. you're not going to get your job. That's yes, right. 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 They worry about your picking That's right. Right. in the video of the Lord. Because yeah. when the Lord comes in judgment, he ain't going to say, what did Brother Ken do? Yeah, yeah. He's going to say, what did you do, Brother Ken? Exactly. Uh-oh. That's all we got to worry about, sisters and brothers. Yeah, That's right. Uh, we, we finished. Uh, let's skip over there. Oh, that was hard. Man. Verse 29. Say, oh. Our old apostles, apostles, our old prophets, our old teachers, our old workers of miracles. Our old got these jobs? No, right? right? Go ahead, but what? Have all the gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? All of us don't speak with different languages, right? That's no, right. go ahead. But covet honestly the best gifts. Hey, the best gifts, go ahead. And yet show I unto you a more, more excellent, excellent way. way sister, a more excellent yeah. way. Let's go to Ephesians 4 and 4. Ephesians 4 and 4. We got the baby in the house today. Right. You're doing pretty good, too. Sure. All right. Ephesians 4 and 4. <laughs> Ephesians 4 and 4, sister. Because it's all about being part of this body. That's right. We yeah. all have to do what our yeah. job is to do. That's right. Yeah. You have to know where you fit in. That's right. You can't do a job that's not your job. Mm-hmm. That's why when people call me and say, this brother and the sister don't want to do this, this brother don't want to go out and evangelize, I say, hey, that, that's just probably not his job. Mm-hmm. He's just not an evangelist. Yeah. You can't force somebody to do something that they is not they, what they do. That's right. You let them do what they freely get they want to offer. That's right. Ephesians 4 and 4. Go ahead. There's one body. There's what? We can keep telling you there's one body, right? One body. Go ahead. One body. And one spirit. Even as you have called in one hope of your calling. Your calling. Go ahead. One Lord. One Lord. One faith. One faith. One baptism. That's why we all are baptized in what name? In the name of Jesus, right? Yeah. Jesus. Because it's all. Yeah. That's why the scripture tells you it's three to bear record in heaven. That's right. It's the Father. It's the Son, it's the Holy Ghost, and it says these three are one. That's right. Because they all part of that one body. That's that's right. Right. They all part, they all come in the name of Jesus. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Right. Verse 6. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Go ahead. But until every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. That's right. God gave us all a, a gift. Yes. Go ahead. Wherefore he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive. That's right. And gave gifts unto men. And he gave gifts to who? Men. When he went back to heaven and sat on the right hand of the Father, he gave gifts, right? Yes. Right. Didn't he give the keys to the kingdom of Peter? Yes. 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 He did, right? Yes. He gave him the keys. Yes. Go ahead. Verse 9, now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower the low parts of the earth? So he went to the grave first. Then he rose. That's right. And became the captain of your salvation. That's right. Your example, go ahead. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heaven, that he might feel all things. That he might feel all things. What, did he, what gift did he give? Go ahead. 
and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists. Wait, he gave some evangelists. Yeah. And he told the evangelists to go ye and make disciples. Yeah. Okay. Right? Yes, he did. Go ye to the earth and make disciples, right? Yeah. Right. That's our job. We supposed to go out and bring in more followers of Christ. Yeah. More followers. Yeah. To follow Jesus. Yeah. He said, bring forth meat. Meant for repentance, right? Yes. Huh? That's yes, right. We probably be bringing fruit into the Lord. That's right. That's our job. That's, right. That's right. right. And some pastors and teachers. And for some the, pastors and some teachers for the what? For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry. For the what? For the edifying of the body of Christ. For the edifying of this body system. Let's go ahead. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. And of the knowledge of the Son of God. Until a perfect man. Until, skip, down, skip down to verse 15. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Who, who's the head of this body? Christ. Christ. Ain't that what Psalms tells you? And I think it's Psalm 118. Yeah, and verse 15. Yep. He said, Jesus, which was the stone, that the beauty refused, mm -hmm. how thou become the head, corner, head yeah. the corner. Yeah. He's saying, so that these men refuse to accept which is Jesus yeah. is not the head of the church. Head of the wife. Right. Okay. He is the head he is. of the body. Go ahead. Yes, yes. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. From whom the whole body fitly joined together. Wait, the whole body is what? Fitly. Fitly, fitly. 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 means perfectly tight. tight. Yes. 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 Perfectly joined together. Go yes. ahead. Yes. And Compacted by that which every joint supplies. Wait, every joint is needed. Yes. To make this body work. Yes. 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 Suppose I cut both the legs off the body. How the body gonna walk around? Suppose I close the body's mouth. Who gonna do the talking for the body? Go ahead, brother. Okay. By that every which joint supplies according to the effectual working in the measure of every part. Make an increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. So to be part of this body, skip on down to verse 29. What did he tell you not to do? Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearer. So this body even got to worry about how it's talking, how yes. it's walking, That's right. how it's communicating. That's right. You know, he said, don't let no corrupt communication come out your mouth. Yes. You shouldn't be cussing and talking crazy all the time. Right. You're going to be edifying the other parts of the body. Exactly. Yes. Yes. And some of us got to watch that. Yeah, right. I hear rumors, like my boss says, rumors of those who got 50 miles. Yeah. Huh? Right. We got to be watch that because it's our job. Right. That's right. To warn you. Yes. Because he said he gave some teachers and some pastors That's and some right. apostles and all that. That's right. I'm just a teacher. Yeah, yeah. But everybody thinks a teacher's job is easy. Right. Teaching is not an easy job, yes. sisters and no, brothers. Let's not. show you that. Yes. What is the job of the pastor and the teacher and the elders? Let's go to Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. This is all part of the body. Okay. Everybody jump up and say they want to be a teacher. I look all on Facebook. Everybody wants to be a teacher. Everybody want to be a teacher. Everybody want to be a pastor. Everybody want to pre be a preacher. Yeah, and that's yeah. the reason this world is in it. chaos is in because everybody's preaching. But the Lord said, "I didn't send these guys. Yeah. Right. 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 I didn't make this guy the mouthpiece of the body. Right. 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 He's not the spokesman of this body. Right. Maybe right. he's just a walker." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Because if I had sent him." He said they had stood in my council. Exactly. They would have called yeah. me yeah. in my word. Yes, sir. That's right. Everybody, every preacher out here is not stood in the council of the Lord. That's right. Now you wonder why. That's right. But being a pastor is not easy. Let's see what the Lord told Ezekiel the job of a shepherd was. Because the job of a shepherd is to lead the sheep. Jesus being a chief shepherd and the rest of those that are over the sheep, shepherds. Yeah, like Brother Boyd is a shepherd of the Israel of God. Yeah, he is. He leads Israel God in the direction he's in. I sat under Brother Boy since I was nine years old. Mm -hmm. Then we have shepherds in this class, brothers and teacher, the elders. Right. They're supposed to lead this class in the direction it needs to go in. Yes. Right? Yes. But their job is a warning. You might not like the warning. They're right. telling you. Right. But read it. It's our job. Go ahead. It's Ezekiel 33rd chapter, brother. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, 
Speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon a land. When the Lord get ready to bring drama down on somebody or in your life, and you bring it to them and they, they, they warn you about it, what do you say? Go ahead. If the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. Wait, a pastor, an elder, a teacher is a watchman. Yeah. His job is to watch out for the sheep. He told That's you right. watch out for the sheep. Against the enemy. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's Against right. the enemy. Against the enemy, which is Satan the devil. And you want to blow the trumpet when you see the enemy coming. Right. That's right. 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 like right. you have the watchdog outside the house yeah. and somebody break your house and the watchdog is asleep. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> right. Right. What you gonna do the next day? You gonna fire the watchdog. Right. 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 He's gonna feed you. Yeah. Right. He didn't, he didn't bark. Right. And that's how the Lord called these pastors dumb dogs that cannot bark. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really. He said they dumb dogs. They yeah. can't even bark. Yeah. They can't even yeah. warn the people. Go ahead. Yeah. But who do you have to warn the people against? Verse three. Keep going. Yes. When he sees the sword come up on the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Go ahead. Then whosoever hears the sound of the trumpet. And take it not warning. So if I warn you and you don't take warning, uh -huh. then what? If the sword come and take him away, if the sword come and take you away, what? His blood shall be upon his own head. I'm good. Yeah. My job is to warn you. I ain't my job is to come over to the house and make sure you're doing it that way. Right, right, I'm just right. going to pick up the phone and say, hey, man, you know, you shouldn't do that. Yeah. 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 You're going to defend the Lord. Yeah. I'm right. warning you. Yeah. Now when I hang up that phone, if you didn't take the warning, right. it's on you. So right. well, go ahead. But if a brother sister call me or brother these elders, and, uh -huh. and we don't warn you, what does it say? Go ahead. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. Verse 6, but what if the watchman don't warn you? Go ahead. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require ooh, ooh, at the watchman's man. hand. Hey, the watchman. If I'm a shepherd of this class, Brother Patrick is shepherd, these elders are shepherds of this class, and we don't warn you, the blood is on us. Mm -hmm. The Lord will ask you, other pastors, hey, you fed yourself, but you didn't feed my sheep. Amen. Skip on down to verse 9. Skip, skip on down to verse 9. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Skip down to verse 9. Keep reading. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Sisters and brothers, if you tell the wicked to repent, and they don't repent, and they keep on living the way they live, you've done your job. you delivered your soul. Right? And that's all that matters. The watchmen have to live themselves too. But if I don't warn you and you don't repent, and you die in your sins, then I'm going to die right along with you. Yep. We can we can finish that up another time. Let's get let's go right on over to First Peter five and one. Mm. But the the watchman got to be humble though, right? Right? Yeah. Watchman can't rule over people harsh, can he? No. That's right. First Peter five and what? First Peter five and what? You get that read. First Peter five and one. The elders which are oh, among. Let's, let's get there. Let's get there. Because he talked about the elders. See, the elders are the reason Israel is in the condition they're in right now. The elders are the reason we are in the condition we are in right now as a people. Because the elders went astray. The elders stopped obeying the Lord. Right. So we are in the situation we are in right now because of the elders. Go ahead. First Peter 5 and 1. Go ahead. The elders which are among you, I exhort. Who am also an elder and a witness? Hey, Peter said he an elder too, right? Yes. And he's a witness. Go ahead. And a witness of the suffering of Christ. And also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. So he's a partaker of all the gifts. Go ahead. That's going to be revealed. That is coming. Go ahead. When we get that crown, go ahead. Feed the flock of God which is among you. Do what? Feed the flock. The elder's job is to feed the flock, right? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint. Hey, not by constraint. Go no. ahead. But willingly. Were you supposed to do this job willingly? Yes. Not just somebody forcing you to do this That's job. Right. The elder is supposed to love to lead the people. That's right. I love to give them the plane to come teach Cleveland. Yeah. yeah. Yes, you do. I love to do this. Yes, you yeah. do. Yes, and I don't get paid a dollar. That's right. But I love it. Go ahead. 
and not for a filthy loop. Woo! Somebody preaching these, somebody call your pastor. <laughs> somebody tell they preaching that they don't supposed to do it for filthy money. Right. Right. Not for money, go ahead. Uh, uh, but of a ready mind. But of a ready mind. If you go tell the preachers tomorrow that they can't get paid to preach, that, that church is going to be empty next Sunday. Right, right. <laughs> I'll let you know. Right, right, right. It's going to be empty Sunday. Yeah. If somebody finds it, go say, what? I can't get paid <laughs> to preach. Yeah. And that's true. I've been done doing it for the money. That's right. And I can't get a free house and free car? Right. right. Go right. here, brother. Right. Ah, ah. Verse <laughs> 3. Neither. As being lords over oh, God's man. heritage. But to be what? <laughs> but being examples to the flock. Sisters and brothers. Yes. When I see Brother Hines, when I see Brother King, when I see these brothers, these brothers are examples to us. Yes. When I see Brother Harold, I see Brother Andre, Brother Thomas. These brothers are examples as a young man how to walk. These are the elders that, that, that run the class. Yes. These brothers are an example. And illness is not a title, it's just being an older person. That's right. Someone with wisdom, someone with knowledge. The title is nothing. Yeah. Be an elder in works, not in title. That's right. Okay. You don't need a title to be an elder. Be an elder because you're walking right and people are looking at you as an example. Yes, and you say, man, I want to be like this guy because this guy like Christ. I stand here to teach today because I always want to be like Brother Bowie. Because Brother Bowie doesn't appear to be walking right to me. So I said, I can do this. Right, right. And my son, at five years old, went up and told Brother Bowie about six months ago, I want to be a preacher just like you. Wow. Hey, hey. Because he loved, he loves to watch the Bible speech. He loves to watch hey. Brother Bowie every Sabbath day. Yes. And when class lets out, he runs and gives Brother Bowie a hug. I can't believe the church. He'd be like, I gotta go hug Brother Bowie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I bet it. Because this is what he wants to be because we is a good example. Yeah, yeah. Go here, brother. Yes, we have to do the same thing. Yes. Verse 4. Go here. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, the chief shepherd of Jesus, when he yeah. shall appear, what? Yeah. You shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Go here. Mm -hmm. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed <laughs> with humility. Yes. Yeah. For God resisted the proud and does what? And give it grace to the humble. Go verse 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Hebrew 13. Hebrew 13. All you got to do is stay a little humble. That's what I tell everybody. Just stay a little humble. That's what I be telling you young folks. Just chill out. When the, when, the, when the older people, elders of the class tell you to sit down and relax, sit down and relax. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Because they got a job. Because they have to answer to the Lord. Yes, because right. they are possessors of your soul. That's right. Oh, no, they're not, brother, my, uh, brother, uh, brother Will. My soul is in my own hands. Okay, let's see what the book says. Uh -oh. Hebrew 13 and 17. Hebrew 13 and 17. Because I, I tell you, it's not, a, it's not oh. an easy job being a shepherd. Right. Hebrew 13 and 17. Go ahead, what it say? No. Obey them that have the rule over you. What? And submit yourselves. For they watch for your soul. They do what? They watch for your soul. Their job is to watch for your soul. Oh. To help you keep your soul. That's right. What I see you doing, some you're going to be doing, is my job to watch for your soul. That's right. They say, brother, don't do that. Yeah. And when I warn you, yes. if you if you corrupt your own soul and you get it, and that fire is on you. That's but if right. I don't warn you, then it's on me. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm supposed to watch for your soul. Go ahead. That's right. <laughs> As they that must give account. Wait, we as the shepherds and the elders must give an account. For, yeah. We have to give an account to the Lord. Yes, we do. About everybody who's sitting here in front of us. If I misteach you, I gotta give an account. That's right. That's why the Lord said He's coming back and He's gonna pay the He's gonna repay the pastors. Yeah. Ooh. Yes, Because they gotta give an account. Yes. For yes, every I know word that come out your mouth. Yes. You have to give an account for it. They are judged. Go ahead, brother. That they may do with joy. Do it with joy and not with grief. For that is unprofitable for you. Go ahead. Pray for us. For we trust we have a good conscience in all things willingly to live honestly. Go ahead. But I beseech you the rather to do this. That I may be restored to you the sooner. That's right, sister and brother. So even the head of the body 
is under the head, which is Jesus and Christ, but you got other leaders of the body mm. have a big job to do, right? Yep. Yes. Because this is all part of the body of Christ. All part of the body. So somebody, just because the person leads you, don't mean it's an easy job. That's right. You know, everybody fight to be a leader, but you got a big job as a leader, as a head of the, of the body. You have a big job. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Proverbs 11 and 18. Because without good leaders, system, but the body cannot function. Mm -hmm. That's why half these churches in the chaos they're here. That's right. Proverbs 11 and 14. Proverbs 11 and 14, sisters and brothers. Because it's all about the council. That's why every king had a priest along with them. Yeah. Saul had Samuel. That's right. David had Samuel and David. Yeah. Because the priest's job was to tell the king what thus said the Lord, to give them wise counsel. Exactly. When David messed up, Nathan came and told him. Amen. Amen. Yes. You messed up and the Lord is angry with you. Yes. When Samuel messed up, when Saul messed up, Saul was pleading for Samuel. Saul. Samuel was pleading for Saul. The Lord told him, stop, stop crying to me about this, dude. I'm done with him. Even you can't plead me back to this guy. So every body has someone who gives them Wise counsel, because you need that. Psalms, I mean Proverbs 11 and 14, what does it say? Where there is, where no counsel is, the people fall. When you don't have no wise counsel, the, the body's going to fall. Yeah. Go like, why? But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. So in a multitude of what? Counselors. That's why we have elders. Yes. We have many brothers that can give counsel because it's safety in a multitude of counsel. Yes. yes. That's why I call up this brother. Yes. I call up that brother. Yes. I call up Pat. Yes. Because it's safety in a multitude of counsel. Yes. Sisters and brothers. Let's go back. First Corinthians 12 and 1. But everybody's job is not to be right. that. We all have to fulfill our job in the body. First Corinthians 12 and 1. First Corinthians 12 and 1. Let's go when we get there, brother. First Corinthians 12 and 1. Now, concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, because everybody has a, a spiritual gift, God has given us all gifts. He's given us all talents. Yeah. The book says. Go ahead. I would not have you ignorant. Mm -hmm. You know that yeah. you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. That's right. Go ahead. You what serve these idols? At what point go ahead? Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus a curse. That's right. We all got to be partakers of the Spirit of God. And that no man can say that Jesus is Lord but by the Holy Ghost. By the Word of God. Go ahead. Now there are diversities of gifts. Everybody got a different gift, right? Everybody yeah. don't got the same gift, do they? Right. No, Go ahead. But the same spirit. But the same spirit. We yeah. all going to be working in the spirit of God. That's but right. we got different talents. We got different gifts. Everybody can't do this. Everybody can't do that. I can't be in the kitchen. Picture the food. Right? This ain't my gift. Right. Go ahead. And there are differences of administration. Everybody is a different in administration. Go ahead. But the same Lord. Go ahead. And there are diversities of operation. But it is the same God which worketh in all. Go ahead. In all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Yes, right. The prophet. Go ahead. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. Some have the word of wisdom. Go ahead. To another the word of knowledge. Uh-huh. By, by the, the what? By, by the, the same, same spirit. spirit. Go ahead. To another faith by the same Spirit. I tell you, some people got more faith than others in here. But it comes by the same Spirit. Some of them got a little bit more knowledge. Some are a little wiser. Yes. But they all by the same spirit. Yes. Yes. I tell you, some of y'all got so much faith, I'll be calling y'all up <laughs> to be of my faith. Yeah. Right, right, right. Go ahead. To another, the gifts of healing by the same spirit. Go ahead. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. <laughs> to another, diverse kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. But all these working that one 
and the self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he will. But what is it? Verse 12. Where the body is one and has many members. So as the body is one but has many members, it has how many lots of members, right? Yes. We yes. can't even yes. count the members. Yes. But go ahead. And all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also is Christ. So also in Christ. Verse 13, we got to read 13. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. So we are, how do we get into this body? Do baptism by one yeah. spirit, right? We got to yeah. be baptized into this body of Christ. Yeah. Go ahead. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles. No, ain't no salvation for the Gentiles. Huh? Yes, it is. The book tells you that they have to be baptized into the body. Yes. Yeah. That's why he told them, don't boast yourselves against the natural branches. That's right. See, you weren't grafted in. If the Lord passed away the natural branches, then where are you going to be at? Because they have to join this tree. Yes. They have to be engrafted into this. That's right. We all have to be partakers of the body of Jesus Christ. Amen. In order for us to be the body of Christ. Amen. Go ahead. Read. Finish that up. Whether we be free, a bond of free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. That's all I want to read that, sister, because we all have to become part of that body. Skip on now to verse 18. But now, as God set the members, every one of them, in the body, as it has pleased him. I know we read that before, but I'm trying to drive that point home. Mm -hmm. We have mm -hmm. to drive that home that God has put you where you belong for a reason. He put you as that part of the body. That's right. Everybody in here has a different gift. That's right. Everybody in here has a different purpose. Mm -hmm. Just fulfill your position in that body so we can all operate as the body of Christ. But in order for us to be part of the body of Christ, we have to have the behavior of a Christian. Yes. Because you can't be part of a body of Christ and don't behave like Christ did. Yeah. That's why Philippians the second chapter said, let this mind be in you. There was also in Christ Jesus. Being in a form of God, thought it not right to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. Yes. And being in the form of a servant, he humbled himself, yes, he did. even unto the death yes, of the cross. Right. Wherefore, because that God exalted him and gave him a name above all names, that at the name of Jesus Christ every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Yes. Yes. So Jesus, having all that knowledge and all that power, he humbled himself to the Father and was obedient. So if Christ is the captain of our salvation and he's the head of the body, then we have to humble ourselves and be obedient yes. to God That's right. to fulfill our calling, wherefore he has called us back. Y'all understand that? Yes, yes, sir. The body can't be evil towards the other members of the body. Right. A servant is a servant always. A servant of God should not call you because you out one day and love you the next day. <laughs> <laughs> The Lord told you I was going to give you either hot or cold. Yes. But since you look warm, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. He said, I wish that you was hot or cold. You can't be a servant today and be a sinner tomorrow. No. no. I can't call you up today and tell you I love you and tell you, brother kid, I hate you tomorrow. Yeah. The double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Amen. Romans, the 12th chapter. Romans, the 12th chapter. Because this body has to be humble at all times. Yes, yes, sir. Because there is no I in team. <laughs> there is no I in me. That's right. We all, sisters and brothers, have to be part of that body, and you have to do what you can do. Mm -hmm. And don't worry about what the next person is doing. Because the book say I, I heard this rumor that it be some of you that I talk it, but ain't doing no walking at all. <laughs> <laughs> He told you that it's a rule, but they say, hey, some people are just talking. Mm -hmm. And not doing no walking. Mm -hmm. Mama told me that maybe you can't walk into gum at the same time. Mm -hmm. So maybe you should spend more time walking and less time talking. Mm -hmm. And maybe we, the body can get somewhere where it's going. Right. If you will spend less time gossiping and do more working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the big guy and do less work, less talking. Yes. Hey, if the sister can't feed her kids, maybe you should call her up and ask her if she needs some help. Mm -hmm. Don't gossip about the sister. Mm -hmm. 
So she got six kids by twelve different baby daddies. Right. <laughs> that ain't your, that ain't none of your business. Ask right. her is her and her six kids well, okay? Right, right. What can I do to help you? Yes, yes, right. That's it. Right. Just saying, line. sister brother, we, yes, we we got to stop talking about each other and help each other. Right, yeah. right. Romans yeah. twelve and three. Mm -hmm. Got to make y'all laugh in class too. <laughs> Romans twelve and three. Romans twelve and three. Good job, brother. Go ahead, brother. Romans twelve and three. What? For well, I say through great, the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, yes, but to think soberly, according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. That's right. Go ahead. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we, being many, are one body in Christ, and every one members of one another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that it is given to us. Whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion, the proportion of faith. Mm -hmm. Or ministry. Let us wait on our ministry, or he let wait. us do what? Wait. Wait on our ministry. Wait, so you can't rush being in the ministry. Mm -hmm. No. You can't say just because I picked up the book and read about 12 verses, I'm a preacher now. No. Right, mm -hmm. right. Huh? No. Right. No. I never asked to be a, a, a preacher. Mm -hmm. I just got a phone call one day and said, hey, you up? <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't just run. I had to, you have to wait for your calling. They said, right. let us wait on our ministry. That's right. Wait, wait patiently. That's, right. yeah. That's the problem. So many brothers out here jumping out there to teach and they miss teaching the word of God. And the world will hold them accountable. Yes, oh, sure is. Right. Go ahead, brother. Or he that teaches on teaching, or he that exhorted on the exhortation, he that is given, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. These brothers never asked to be an elder. They got the phone call to be an elder. Go ahead. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Go ahead. Verse 9. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Hate that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Cleave to that which is good. Yes. Go yes. ahead. Be kindly affectionate one to another. Your right. job is to be kindly affectionate one towards another. Love one another. That's right. That's the whole duty of man to fear God and keep oh, his commandments. Man. But the commandment is to love one another. That's yes. right. That's what his command is. Love one another. Go ahead. With brotherly love and honor, preferring one another. Preferring one another, sisters and brothers. I prefer this brother. I love this brother. Go ahead. Not slop in this way. He said, you can't be slow for business. No. If you hire somebody to do a job, you got to pay them and treat them right. Yes. That's you right. can't be slow. You can't be bad right. and business that's, that's and right. be a servant of the Lord. That's right. Yeah. Go that's ahead. Lord. That's that serving the Lord. Mm -hmm. Rejoicing in hope, patience in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessary, the necessity of saints given to the hospitality. You got to have, you got to be hospitable. Yes. You have to go visit the sick and pray for those who are sick. And pray for the widow and the shut in. That's right. When brother and sister needs you, you got to be apt. Yes. Go ahead. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Go ahead. Be of the same mind one toward another. Be of the same mind equally yoked. Go ahead. Mind not high things, but condescend to the men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conscience. Don't be wise in your own eyes, sister brothers. Go ahead. Recompense to no man evil for evil. That's right. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as life in you to do what? Live peaceably with all men. That yes. is your job in the body of Christ to live peacefully in this body. Yes. Yes. Don't start no drama in this body. Right. Love one another in this body. Yes. You good to all men while you're in this body. Yes. Right. If you can't learn how to behave, you won't stay in this That's body. Right. That's right. And you're going to find yourself in that lake of fire. Mm -hmm. Because either you're in the body of Christ or you're not in the body of Christ. That's right. It just says it. That's it. It ain't no, I'm halfway in, I'm halfway out. That's right. No. That's right. it, Brother King. Let's move on to Ephesians 5 and 1. 
I gotta stop talking so much so we can get through this lesson. Mm-hmm. Keep talking, brother. Ephesians 5 and 1. Because, Jesus, sister, word, in order to be in the body of Christ, we gotta know how to behave ourselves. That's right. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, sisters and brothers, you can't join yourself to God and, and be wicked. Right. And be an evil doer. The book tells you God is light. Mm-hmm. And there is no darkness in him at all. That's right. So you have to be of the light. You have to be of the light. You cannot have relations with darkness and light at the same time. You ain't never seen light dwell with darkness. No. When you come into a dark room, you turn the light on, the dark is gone. That's right. You don't be like half the room be light and half the room be dark. <laughs> same thing with your body. That's right. The book says if, if, if your hand be evil, all of you is evil. Yeah. If your eye be evil, all of you are evil. Yeah, right. Your eyeball just ain't evil and the rest of you good. Right, right. <laughs> no, all of you are evil. That's right. Wow. Ephesians 5 1. Go ahead, brother. Let's, let's pick it up. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. And walk in love as Christ also. And do what in love? And wow. walk in love. So this is a walk in life, right? Yes. You got to walk this walk in love. Yes. Go ahead. As Christ also had loved up. And has given himself for us. Wait. Jesus Christ, being the head of his body, head of the body, gave his life for the body? Yes, he did. He gave his life for the church? Yes, he did. He gave his life for his wife? Yes, he did. Yes, he did, right? Yes, he did. He died for his wife. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead, For brother. us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savior. Go ahead, verse. For fornication and all uncleanness or covenant. Let it not be once named among you as becoming saints. You gotta have, you gotta, you gotta lack all these things to be in the body of Christ. Go ahead. Neither filthiness, no foolish talking, nor jesting. Wait, foolish talking? He don't even want you to be foolish talking, no, no jesting, ignorantly joking. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Ooh. Nor not convenience, but rather giving thanks. For this oh, you know yeah. that no whoremonger, yeah. no unclean person, no covetous man which is an idolater has any inheritance. In the kingdom of Christ, Ooh, and so you want to be in the kingdom of God. If you have any, you possess any of these characteristics. Go ahead. Let no man deceive you with vain words. Well, because of these things, sisters and brothers, vain words is what they be preaching on Sunday. Yes, telling yes, you yes. can eat anything, just pray over. It. Yes. And the Lord told you in the Dietary Law, Leviticus 11 chapter, that you shouldn't eat pork and catfish and shrimp and lobster and all those unclean things. Right. He gave you his dietary law in yes, Leviticus yes. 11 chapter. Yes. He told you the seventh day was his Sabbath day. Yes, he did. It was sanctified. It was set apart. And you want the whole a holy convocation yes, on right. the seventh day. If you go to church on Sunday on the first day of the week and they tell you that they vain talkers. That's right. Yeah. Because that's not the word of the Lord. Yes. yes. The Lord told you, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you go to church and they tell you the commandments are done away, they are vain talkers. Yes, yes, right. They try to take away your crown. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the book tells you that these pastors, he said, do vain words. Yes. Do these yes. vain yes. words. Yes. They made merchandise. Yes. Yes. That's right. Yes. You go to church and somebody, you pay to somebody to teach you the word and they lie lying to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Telling you that God love everybody. Mm-hmm. If God love everybody, why did He create the like a fire? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Huh? Yeah. God loves those. He said, "I love those who love me." Yeah. yeah. He said, "You love you keep my commandments." Yeah. Right. 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 You have to keep the commandments of God. Right. It's no reason that God wrote this big old book yeah. and gave Moses the commandments twice. Right. right. <laughs> Moses came down and broke the commandment. We threw him in Israel. The Lord called Moses back in and out another 40 days and rewrote them again. Yes, indeed. For him to throw the commandments in the garbage, he would not do that. God's not a vain God. Right. Right. The commandments are still good. Yes. Right. And we have to keep them to get salvation. Go ahead, brother. That's right. We'll start at six again. Mm-hmm. Let no man deceive you with vain words. Because of these things coming, the wrath of God. And because of the, the teaching that the commandments are no good, the wrath of God is coming upon this whole creation. Mm-hmm. Look at the kids out of out of, out of whack in the streets, killing and stealing. If they go to church in the past and tell them, "Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal," half this will be stopped. Right, right. But do they? They not. And because it is the wrath of God come upon the children of disobedience. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, be not therefore partakers with them. Sisters and brothers, if somebody mm. is continually breaking God's law, don't be partakers with them. No, don't hang right. around them. The book tells you don't justify evil no. wickedness. 
No. The Lord tell you about the piece of unleavened bread to get all the leaven out of your house. Maybe that leaven in your house is your kid that's doing all the killing. Mm. Or your kid that's selling drugs in your house. Mm -hmm. Maybe he is that leaven that's, that's leaven in right, your house. Right, right, yes. Right. Uh, maybe he is that sin mm -hmm. that's bringing your whole house down. Yeah, okay. Because you are justified. Parents, we got to do better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to do better raising our kids. Yes, yes. we do. Yes, we do. Because you got that son around your, your your other kids is out there committing those crimes, carjacking mm -hmm. and all that. And when they come shoot up the house, they're going to kill everybody in the house. Mm -hmm. And then your other innocent children are going to die. Because right. 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 you as a parent won't separate that. Mm -hmm. right. You right. Swear. Yeah. That's what that 11th grade is about, getting that sin out of your house. Yes, Maybe you're the sin in your house. Right. Maybe you need to go sit over next to the garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you the problem. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger. Let's skip on up to verse 1. Skip on up to verse 1. Oh, okay. Read verse 13, brother. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Okay, here we go. Skip on down to verse 17, brother. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, and be not drunk with wine. Woo! You can't be part of the body and be a drunkard either. <laughs> go ahead. Wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Uh huh. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making. The Buddha say meditate on the word day and night. Yes. How you gonna meditate on the word when you're drunk? Yes. I fall all over the place. Yes. Huh? Right. I ain't never seen nobody just sit around praising the Lord, reading the book, and they drunk on Jack Daniels. <laughs> you start to sing songs, and you be talking about turn up, turn up. Wait a minute, I'm trying to, I'm trying to concentrate the Lord, but I'm just so drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. You can't oh, be drunk. Right. You can't be giving as much wine. Right, right, Come right. here, brother. Right. Right. Stay on, man. And, oh, man. and singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. That's right. To the Lord, all this is done. Go ahead, brother. Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name hey. of our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Giving thanks for everything He done for him waking us up this morning. Go ahead. Yes. 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 That verse twenty. Yes. Let's go on over to uh, Saint. Uh, 15 and what? St. John 15 and what? Because we got to learn how to walk, sisters and brothers. Yes. If we're going to be partakers with Jesus Christ, we got to walk. Because Jesus is that true guy. He is the head. He is the head of the body. Yes, he is. And he's going to tell you this. And, it, you know, it came away. You could throw your head away and live. And that's what the problem is. That's why we're not living. Mm -hmm. Because we threw our head away, which is Jesus. Yes. We threw that away all the way back in the days of Saul. Yeah. When we asked, like we like the other nations, we asked for a king. Right. Oh. And Samuel was grieved because we asked for a king. Yeah. And they say, we're gonna say, give him a king, then. Right. Give him a king. <laughs> he said, Don't be don't be upset, Samuel. Yes. They didn't throw you away, they threw me away. Yeah. I was their king. Yes. Right, right. And they just threw me in the garbage. Mm. And they say, We want to be like the other nations, give us a king. Mm. So the Lord said, in my anger did I give you a king, right. but in my wrath did I take him away. Uh, in my anger, I gave you a king. Right. 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 And I gave you after who you picked, yes. after his right. stature. Yes. The people picked Saul, but the Lord picked David. Yeah. The Lord said, I don't look over man's stature because you picked him because he's big and swole. Right. Right. And look like somebody that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. I picked David because he had a good heart. Yes. That's right. Not because he was swole, because when he went to Jesse's house, he ran all of Jesse's kids by, yeah, yeah. by, by, by Samuel. Right. And he had Jesse. He said, man, it's one of, somebody got me missing. Yeah. Because the Lord sent me in his house yeah, to find the kid. And ain't, the spirit ain't picked none of them. Right, right. right. But Jesse said, well, it is one left. You know, <laughs> you know surely he ain't talking about him because he's out there keeping the sheep. Right, right. You know, he's keeping the cattle. And he don't even fit the profile of the king. He's got a short and rugged. Right. You ain't thinking that guy. As right. soon as that spirit walked up on him, he said, anoint him king. Yeah. Right. That's right. right. And he went out there and he anointed him. Because the Lord said he tried the heart. He said he has seen that with his right. Yes. yes. He tries your heart. He yes. knows yes. you're wicked or not. Yes. You hide from anybody, you hide from yourself. Mm -hmm. But you ain't hide from the Lord. Uh -huh. right. Go ahead. Teach be part of this branch. Go ahead, brother. Let's uh -huh. be part of this tree. Let's be part of this body. 15 and 1. 
I am the true vine. Who's the true vine? The Lord. So who's the head of this body? Jesus. Go ahead. And my father is the husband. Man. So we all got to be part of that husband. Man. Mm -hmm. He is the true husband. That's right. We are only joined to him through Jesus. That's right. Y'all understand that? That's, That's right. right. We are only joined to the father through Jesus. That's That's right. Right. And Jesus is the intercessor. Yes, he is. You can't go to the company and see the president unless you see the vice president first. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, brother. Right. You got to right. work your way up in a race. First, yeah. you got to go see the sergeant of arms, the yeah. lieutenant. Okay. Then he's going to tell you, I can't do nothing for you. Yeah. Go see the vice president. <laughs> yeah. You know, this, this ain't chess. You can't jump Jesus and get to the bottom. That's right. And be okay. king. Yes. Go ahead, brother. That's right. Verse 2. So how do these Israelites try to throw Jesus away mm -hmm. and get to the bottom? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 2. Every branch in me that hear not fruit, it takes away. To bear not, bear fruit. not fruit. If you don't get no good fruit, no good works, you're yeah. going to be taken away. Go ahead. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it. Do you know what that means? If you bring forth fruit, the Lord is even harder on you, but you bring forth more fruit. <laughs> yes. So maybe you're going through your test and trial right now. You're going through a lot of your life because the yes. Lord has heard you to bring forth more good work. Oh, yes. 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 See, sometimes when you're working good on your job, they work even harder. Right. Yeah. Because you're working good. Right. Yeah. The dude just over there watching the TV, they don't work him at all. Right. They're kind of wishing he leave. Right. Right. On his own, so right. they got to pay unemployment. Right. Right. If we just let him leave, yeah. you don't got to pay him. But when you work it harder on your job, they make you work harder. Yes, That's why I ask you to do more because you're a good worker. Same yeah. thing in this body of Christ. When you're a good worker, mm -hmm. God works you even harder. Okay. Because you're bringing yeah. forth fruit. That's Go right. ahead. That it may bring forth more fruit. That's right. Now, ye are clean through the word which I have spoken. What do you walk through? The word. 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 Abide in me and I. Wait. Stay in this body. Yeah. And I stay with you. Yeah. Abide yeah. in me. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. As the branch cannot bear fruit yes. of itself. You can't bear fruit of yourself. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The body Except, is only as good as the head of the body, which is Jesus. Go ahead. Except it abide in the vine. No more can ye. Except ye abide in me. Who is that vine? Go ahead. I am the vine. Who said this? Jesus said, I Jesus. am that vine. Go ahead. Yes. You are the branch. You are the branches. Go ahead. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For yes. without me, you can do nothing. We can close the book right there. That's, right. <laughs> That's the end of the body right there. Without Jesus, you can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. No. You didn't even have the power to wake yourself up this morning. God called you out that bed. Yeah, yeah. 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 If he did not call you to wake up this morning, you would have never woke up. Yeah, right. If he didn't call for that breath of life to remain in your body, you'd be dead. Right. Yeah, right. Without him, you can do nothing. Yeah, right, right. Brother. He said, with what which of you with what thought yeah. can add more to your, your, your statue? Right. Yeah. I've been thinking about my hair growing back for a long time. <laughs> I've been thinking about it. And they came back. Yes. Right. <laughs> so you can't add nothing on to yourself. No, you can't. No. I want to be a little taller. But I can't do nothing unless Jesus give me that power to do it. Yes, right. Go ahead, yes, brother. Sir. Verse 6. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch. Yes. And is with it. And men gather and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. They are burned in that fire. I like the fire. Go ahead. If you abide in me, and my words abide in Wait, you. Wait, my what got to worry about in you? My word. word. How, does it, how does Jesus dwell in you through his what? Word. word. Jesus ain't sitting in your body, no little, you ain't got no little soul in your body. <laughs> Jesus ain't telling you, Brother Will, don't do that. Yeah. That yeah. word is telling you don't do that. That's right. right. That's why these men are out here doing the things they do, because the word does not abide in them. No, they don't. Mm -hmm. If no, the no. word abide in nobody be, be doing no try yeah. about it. Okay. Yep. Huh? Go ahead. But that word don't abide in them. Go ahead, brother. You shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto Sister, you. Brother, if you're really serving God, whatever you ask for in prayer, have in faith, the Lord going to give you. Yes, he he, David said, well, I've been young and I've been old. And one thing I've never seen so is the righteous forsaken or the seed made in prayer. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey, hey
every servant of God, God took care of them. Yes, 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 So all you got to do is abide in him. And whatever you ask for, he going to give you, sisters yes. and brothers. Yes. And you ain't got to stress about it. Right. Somebody's stressing about their paycheck being short right now. All you got to do is to keep on walking. The Lord's going to provide. He's going to take care of you. He's going to take care of you. Keep That's reading, right. brother. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> and that's very comforting. Yeah, um, very read, read, no, we we got to read, brother. Uh, Ken, we got to read on down to verse 10. Read on down to verse 10. Okay. Keep on going all the way down to verse 10. <clears throat> okay. If you, keep, <laughs> if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. Even yeah. as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in and his And that's love. the only way you abide the Lord's love by keeping his commandments. Yes. 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 Let's keep on down to verse 16. You have not chosen me. What? Uh-oh. You ain't chose me. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Help the Lord say. <laughs> but I have chosen you. Yeah, wait a minute. I chose you. Yes. Go ahead. And ordain you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Yes. That whatsoever you ask of the Father in my name. Yes. You make it Wait, you got to ask whatever you ask for. You got to ask. That's why we end our prayers in the name of Jesus. Yes. Right. Huh? Yes. It's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, you end your prayers because he takes your yes. prayers to the Father. Yes. Yes. Yes, he does. Yes. That's what he told you to be wicked. He, he said his name, your name would not be mentioned in his mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He won't even mention your name. That's right. Go ahead. He said, I want to take it upon my tongue. Go ahead, brother. He may give it to you. Verse 17. <laughs> These things I command you, that ye love one another. That's it. Let's, let's go to St. John. Let's go to 1 John 1 and 1. We got to keep on moving, y'all. We got to get out of here in the next 30 minutes. Oh, man. Okay. Y'all having too much fun. Uh, yeah. Y'all going to give me. Get a phone call. Who we gonna call? Listen, you kept it for the half hour. We rolling, y'all. Yeah, we rolling. I'm having too much fun. This is what happened when y'all don't let me come for like three, four weeks. <laughs> I gotta give y'all double measure. First, first John one and one. First John one and one. No, I'm sorry. First John two and fifteen. Is that who we at? Yeah. yeah, 1 John 2 and 15. 1 John 2 and 15. And read my own writing. So if you want to be part of this body system, brother, you can't be part of the world. Mm -hmm. You can't be out there living in the world and be part of the body of Jesus Christ. That's right. Because Jesus said he was not of this world. He said, if you are this world, the world would love you. Yes. But you're right. not this world, so the world hates you. 1 mm -hmm. John 1 and 1 John 2 and 15. Go ahead, brother. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Let me just read that. How the, 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 he said, let the love of the Father abide in you. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. If you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. That's right. That's right. Because the Lord said, you love me, keep my commandments, and the Father's love would abide in you. But if you ain't keeping his commandments, you don't have the love of the Father in you. That's yeah. right. Go ahead. Verse 16, for all that is in the world. Listen this. Pay the, close attention. The this is the front of the lesson here. This is all that's in this world. So if you're looking for this world, this is all you're looking for. Yeah. All that's in this world is what? Lust of the flesh. It's the lust of the flesh. And lust of the eye. That's why they got commercials. They had you lusting for that $300,000 car that you know you can't afford. <laughs> you know you can't afford that $300,000 car. You working in McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> But they run that commercial in every 10 seconds. So you get up and you go buy that car. Right, but you be right. crying because you in debt. Yeah. You never could afford that car. That's right. But you lust it after. Okay. That's why, because you see it. You okay. just see it. That's, right. That's why they promote everything. They promote that iPhone 17. And yeah. it just came out with the 14. Yeah. And some of these up here right. taking their rent money, saving their rent money, they buy an iPhone 17. Right. That's right. right. That's and their kids go out home. Right. Right. Because they lust it right. after it. Yeah. Because That's it's right. not part of the body. That's right. right. Be content with what you have. Right. Right. John said, with contentment. Yeah, that's right. Food and raiment. Right. Food and raiment. Be content therein. Yeah, Be content right. that you just had that Chevy Malibu to get here to class today. Right. Right. 
Yeah. That's right. Yes, or the Honda Accord. Right. Yeah. Whatever you drove. Right. Yeah. That, that Chevy going to get you the same place that Bentley gets you. That's yeah. right. That little house going to let you live it, it, just like that big house. Yeah, that's right. Be that's content. Right. That's Be right. content. Right. Don't lust at the thing that you don't need. Go ahead, yeah. brother. Right. That's the pride of life. Everybody got so much pride. That's why we need this pride yeah. movement. Yeah. Oh. yeah. How yeah. they even corrupted the Lord's rainbow. Yes. Which yes. is the yes. sign that he gave to know that I won't kill the earth again by flood. Right. Yes. They corrupted it and made it a pride movement. Oh, right. man, come on. Shame on you. Who teach this? Shame on you to take wow. the Lord's rainbow that he, right. he, right. Gave, he, set yeah. that, he set that bow in the cloud yeah, to yeah. remind him. Right, yeah. 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 When he gets, when it's not raining, that, that rainbow say, uh-uh, right. you right. said yeah. that right. you will not kill yeah. him again. Yeah. 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 You said that now. That's yeah. right, right. It reminds the Lord not to flood the earth again. And right. you take that and you corrupted it. Because right. right. the Lord said, hey, why did you drown him? Then that rainbow come back out and say, you said yeah. that yeah. you wasn't going to drown him again yeah. by water. Yeah. And he stopped the rain. Yeah. 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 That's why he said he said it is a token of reminder. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. Who is the pride of life? Is not of the Father, but pride is not of the Father, sister. But it's of the world. The pride is of the world. You feel the pride you of this world. Everybody walking around so proud that you can't even talk to them. Right. <laughs> right. I'm better than you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see. If I stop breathing, you stop breathing. We both gonna go to the dirt. That's right. right. No? Yeah. <laughs> Last time I seen the people at the cemetery digging. The holes was all the same size. Right. Yeah. They didn't give you a little magic hole. They gave me a little hole. Yeah. Yeah. The hole was the same size because they cheat. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't gonna dig your hole bigger because they cheat. Yeah. <laughs> they won't get to have no hole. Yeah, right. Oh wow. Go ahead, yeah. brother. Right. Verse seventeen. And the world passes away. The world don't pass away, sisters, brothers. And the lust thereof. And lust is gonna be in that grave. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Sister, if you do the will of the Father, yes. you're going to abide forever. Yes. You're going to live forever. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't see, I ain't never seen, I ain't never went to a cemetery and do something by the grace. My proud! <laughs> no, ain't no proud people in the grave. Okay. It's some dead people in the grave. Right. Yeah, right. I tell you that. Right. That's all I know. It's some dead people yeah. in the grave. They ain't proud yeah. to be there either. Yeah. First John one and one. First John one and one. I know that's right. First John one and one. He had a dream too, and the dream didn't get him nowhere. First John one and one. That's not nice. That's not nice. Let's move on. First John one and one. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard. Which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. That's right. Go ahead. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it. We have yes. seen it, right? Yes, we have. Go ahead. And bear witness. We bear witness of the works yes. of Jesus, do we not? Yes, we do. We bear witness of Jesus, don't we? Yes, we do. Go ahead. And show unto you that eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested Wait. unto us. Jesus was with the Father? Yes, he was. Ain't that what Isaiah 57 says? Isaiah 57, 17? Yep. Said that how he lost the one who inhabited eternity, whose name is holy? Yes. I dwell with him also yes. of a humble and contrite spirit. Yes. Yes. Jesus told me he dwelled with the Father in eternity, and they both got a humble and contrite spirit. Yes, they So he was with the Father also. Oh, yes. Go ahead. But what was he doing? He was manifesting. Go ahead. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us. Wait! He said, we, we, we all want you to be fellowship with us. Yes. Yeah. You got a fellowship with Jesus and the Father. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Go ahead. And all these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Mm -hmm. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie Woo! and Whoa. do not the truth. If you say that you have fellowship with God and the Father and you out here sinning and doing all kind of evil, you are lying. 
Yes. And the truth ain't no truth That's anyway. True. Go ahead. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all Who sin. Who blood are we cleansed through? His son. That's right. Go ahead. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If you say you ain't never sinned and you ain't not a sinner, you lying to yourself. Yes, yes, yes. 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 And any man that say he has not sinned, the book says he made him a liar. That's right. He made God a liar. Yeah. Right. Because Jesus came to die for your sins. Right. Right. So you're telling him that he did not come to die for your That's sins. Right. So he made him a liar. Right, right. That's right. Wow. Right. Because he was the Holy One of Israel. Yes. We all have seen it. Right. And all have fallen short so of the glory of God. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Go ahead. Verse 10. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, Ooh. and his word is not in law. If you say you ain't sinned, you make him a liar, and his word don't abide in you. That's right, sister. But that's why this body of God, we have to clean ourselves up. Colossians 3 and 1. We're going to do some skipping here so we can get out of here. Colossians 3 and 1. Because this body has to be made clean through the blood of Jesus. That's what he came to do. He came to clean the body. He came to clean the church up. What was the first place the judgment was rendered in when Jesus was here? Where did he go and pull out that, that whip and start whipping folks at? In church, right? Yes, he did. Where did he tell you when he come back, judgment going to start at? He said, the house of God. The I ain't going to the sinners and to the thieves to do no judgment. They already been judged. I'm going to the house of God. I'm going to clean that up. That's why Jesus is going to take you into the wilderness when he comes back. He's going to take you straight into the wilderness and he's going to plead with you, the book says. Yes. Please, with you, he ain't gonna be out there begging you like, please, repeat, brother. <coughs> no, no, he's gonna kill you. you know, right. Right. Yes, right. He's gonna plead with you. Yeah. He's gonna give you his word. Yes, he's gonna give you a chance to repent. Yes, yes, yes. And if you don't, then he's gonna kill you. Uh -huh. Jesus, y'all act like Jesus is some guy that's gonna be sitting there begging you that we walk right. <laughs> no, he's gonna tell you, this is what I want you to do. That's why he's coming back this time as the lion of Judah. Right. He pleaded with you the first time right. as the Lamb of God. Okay. He's come take away sin. He was very humble. Very. Rather than, he came right in the ass to come to forward in the ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This time he coming on that horse. Oh, oh, oh. I ain't never seen a king come riding a horse oh, oh. and had a sword in his head to talk nicely yeah. to you. <laughs> every time I look at the old westerns that dude who rode on the horse, everybody got his way when they heard that horse. Right. Ah. right. <laughs> yeah. Colossians 3 and 1. Colossians by Galatians and Ephesians. Colossians 3 and 1. Go ahead. If ye have been risen with Christ. If ye have been, sisters and brothers, when you get baptized, that symbolizes you being buried with Christ. Yeah. And when you come out that water, you are risen with Christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It symbolizes you being right, you rose with Christ. Yeah. So if you be risen with Christ, what? Seek those things which are above. Why are you still worried about this level on this earth? If you've been raised with Christ, mm -hmm. you're going to be walking in newness of life. Yes. And you still worry about your past? Somebody here right now still worry about what they did yesterday. Mm -hmm. And worry about what they did before they got baptized. Let all that go. Yes. 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 We've been way down. Yes. Right. And the Lord said he's going to forgive. You know, the hardest person to forgive is yourself. Right. That's just the hardest person to forgive. Mm -hmm. You can forgive everybody in the world, but you sit there and you can't forgive yourself for what you've done. Mm -hmm. You did all that before baptism. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Jesus told you once you get baptized, you return. He ain't never going to bring it up again. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. He ain't never going to bring it up again. No. So why are you worried about it? Right. When people tell me about stuff I did in my old past, and they mm -hmm. say, remember you did this to me? I said, he did what? <laughs> I be speaking the second third person because you ain't talking about me. That dude been baptized. That didn't be my part. Oh, I speak as if I don't even know that old brother Will. I don't even know that guy no more. I can tell you about this new brother Will. Yeah. Right. Don't, don't come to me and tell me what I did when we back in high school. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, brother. 
where Christ sitteth on pray, the bro. right hand of God. Verse two. See your affections on things. Set, set your, your affections, affections set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ That's in God. Right. In God, go ahead. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall we also appear with him in glory. That's yes. right. Verse yes. 5. What do you got to do now, though? Go mortify. Mortify. You got to cut it off. Like, you know, mm -hmm. Mortal Kombat. Why? Every time you see that scene, you got to cut it off. <laughs> yes. You got to mortify that. You got to kill that part of that body that's killing you. Right, right. right. If the right. lust is killing you, stop it. Right. Because it's going to take you all the way to the grave. Yes, it is. Go ahead. Which are on the earth. Fornication. Uncleanliness. Ignorant, you know, in the fashion, affection, evil, concupiscence, uh -huh. concupiscence, and covenant, which is idolatry. That's right. For which things sake the wrath of God coming to the children of disobedience? And it's gonna tell you we all been there at one point. All of us at one point been lustful. Yes, we have. Been idolatry. Yes. Been adulterer. Yes. Yeah. Been a liar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just stole some things. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. In order to affection, did something that wasn't. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> all of them. Verse 7. In the which ye have also walked sometime. Hey, all of us have walked there sometime before. Go ahead. Yeah, when right. ye lived in there. When you lived in that old life. Yeah. Right. Before you cleaned yourself, before you mortified, then we yeah. always walked in there sometime. Yeah. Yeah. Right. When I go back and look at the things that I did, boy. Mm -hmm. Woo. Okay. Mm. I'm surprised I got here. Man. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. I just hit that another one. Without you, that never would have made it. That's right. Without the sister, right. brother, we was all at one point in that danger. Yeah, yeah we, we were. Right. Yeah, we were. Go ahead, brother. Verse eight. Yeah. But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. We got to stop that filthy communication. Yeah. We got to stop talking yeah. stuff that's not profitable. Yeah. Right. It tells you just talk things that are be are profitable. Yes, right. We got to stop cursing and everything, lying. Yes. Commit all these things, blasphemy, malice. We got to stop being angry. Yeah. We got to stop yeah. being wrath. Right. Stop having wrath. Go ahead, brother. Verse nine. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge. After the image of him that created him. After the image of God who created you. Yes. You got to put on that body of Christ. Keep on down to verse 12. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man have a quarrel against him. If any man have. Uh, all against his brother, fix that. He told you that in the Old Testament. Yes. He said, before you even bring your gift to the altar, if you got an alt with your brother, put that gift to the side yeah. and go fix that alt with your brother. Then come back and present your gift to the yes. Lord. Okay. The Lord said, You didn't want your gift. Then you right. have a problem with your brother. Right. Wow. Put your gift wow. away. Go fix your problem with your brother. Because he said, How are you going to say you love me and you hate your brother? All right. All right. And you right. see your brother every day, you've never seen me. Right. Yeah. And you talk about you love me. Right. How could you love right. a guy that you've never seen, but you right. hate your brother that you see every yeah. single Saturday? Right. Yeah. Oh, right. right. I hate you, brother, but without a cause. Yeah. Just because you don't even look like I love somebody I like. <laughs> but I love, I love the Lord. You heard my cry. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't hear your cry, but I heard your hate. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Go here, brother. <laughs> Uh, even uh -huh. as Christ who gave you, so also do you. Yes, right. Go ahead. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Above all, have charity, which is love. Go ahead. And let all the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body. You are called in how many bodies? One, one body. body. Go ahead. And be ye thankful. Go ahead. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Teaching and admonishing one another. Loving one another. In songs and hymns and spiritual songs. Sing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Yes. We got a couple more places, yes. sister, brother, but 
It's telling you if you have a alt or you have a problem with your brother, fix that all. Because yes. all of us, sisters and brothers, are all working to perfect this body of Christ. That's right. We all going yes, through sir. some things. I might not be going through what Brother King is going through, but I'm going through something totally different. I might not be going through what this sister is sisters and brothers that are going in some real dark places in their life right now. Yeah. You don't have any suicide calls I get a, a week. Me and Brother Wallace and other elders. Yeah. Yes. It's not, it, we don't want to laugh about them. We want to no. try to help them and talk them and walk them and yes. walk them out yes. of it. Yes. yes. And tell them the love yes. that God has bestowed upon yes. them. Yes. Okay, that right. whatever you have done, right. God will forgive you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Whatever. Exactly. Ecclesiastes in the ninth chapter said, Joy to the living. Mm -hmm. There is hope. Yeah. As long as you're alive, you got hope to change. That's yes, right. It said, A living dog is better than a dead yeah. life. Yeah. There's no need to take your life, sister and brothers. Mm -hmm. Just give it to God. He said, Cast your burdens on Him. Cast your cares on Him. Yeah. He said, He really cares for you. That's yeah. right. He really cares for you. Yeah. Yes. Place yeah. in sixth chapter. But you have to fix. This is all part of the body making right what's wrong, okay. fixing things. Mm -hmm. The body, you ever notice when your body is hurt, another part of your body fixes that part of the body. Mm -hmm. Like you go and you fall off a bike and you skid your left arm. Uh -huh. You take your right arm uh -huh. to fix your left arm. <laughs> you take your right arm to put a band-aid on your left oh, arm. Or you yeah. wrap it up. Okay. The body heals itself. Make it play. Mm -hmm. You cut your toe, you go, you be down there working on yourself. That's right. The body has to heal the body. Yes. Okay. Then when you can't Heal the body, you go to somebody else that's part of your body to heal, it helps you get healed. That's right. When I'm spiritually broke, I call to the elders of the church mm -hmm. and they heal me. Yeah. They tell me about the word of God. Mm -hmm. That's why when sisters and brothers are going through something, you should be picking up the phone, calling each other. Mm -hmm. right. And nobody should be judging you. That's right. right. They should right. be saying, sister, brother, it's going to be okay. Right. I've been there. Right. I've been there. Galatians yeah. 6 and 1. But we, we, we hold things against people. But God is forever merciful. Whatever you do, even in our marriages, even in our life, forgive. Mm -hmm. No matter what our husband or wife has done, the Lord took us back and we committed so much adultery. Right. And the Lord took us back. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Lord said we played the harder with everybody. That's right. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said he's going to remarry us. Because mm -hmm. he loved this woman. That's right. He loved this wife because it's part of his body. That's, That's right. right. That's why he told you whatsoever the Lord has joined you. Let no man be said. Once you become one, with one body, even in your marriages, can't nothing stop you. That's right, ain't right. no stopping us now. That's right. You got to move. Place of six and one. That's right. Place of six and one, brother. That's right. Oh. Brother, if a man be overtaken in a fault. If a man be overtaken in a fault, what? Ye which are spiritual. Ye which are what? Spiritual. Not those who walk in the flesh. Somebody who got knowledge in our spirit to do what? Restore oh. such as one. You go to try to restore your brother or sister. Right. If you see them overtaken with a fall, you see somebody messed up, you yeah. go to try to restore them, not talk about them. Hey, right. let me help you get up. Right. Go ahead. Right. Right. In the spirit of meekness, considering thyself. Considering that you would step away from falling too. That's what David said. Yeah. He said, though my feet have slipped. Yeah. I almost slipped. Yeah. Hey, he did. When he committed adultery with Bathsheba. That's right. And we still going through that drama for what he did. Yeah. Because the Lord dropped that sword in his household and that sword is still in his household. Because we are of the house of, of David. That's yes. right. We still are his sons. That's right. And we still going through what we're going through because of what he did. That's right. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Let's thou be also tempted. That she be tempted. Go ahead. Bear you one another's burden. Do do what? You about to bear one another's burdens. Go ahead. And so fulfill the law of Christ. Bear one another's burdens is fulfilling the law of Christ. Yes. You help and repair that body. Yes. Go ahead. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he receives it Woo! himself. Somebody needs to read that. Say that for the folks in the back. <laughs> <laughs> if you think that you better than somebody else, yes. then, you're deceiving yourself. Yes. That's all. I thought John said we are all filthy rags. That's right. That's right. Uh, we all filthy rags, right? That's yes. Right. Yes, what you said. Go ahead, brother. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Mm -hmm. 
For every man shall bear his own burden. That's right. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teaches in all good things. Yes. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall the reap. flesh <laughs> reap corruption. Woo! You live by the sword, you die by, you die by the sword. But you got he, people out there killing and stealing, eventually you're going to get killed too. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Go ahead. And This is part of the, the body. If anybody thinks that they're working harder than somebody else in the body, don't get weary and start working. Continue to work. Right. Go ahead. And let us not be weary in well-doing. Don't get weary in well-doing. You're doing good. Don't be weary of it. Go ahead. For in due season, yes, we shall reap. You go, every, you put forth this work in the vineyard. Don't get weary and give up. That's right. And basically, like the folks say in the church, you're going to have a break. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the sun can't always be out and neither can it rain. Right. If it's going to stop raining, the sun will come back out. Right. So right. just continue to work. Okay. Until that sun comes out, because soon as the job is finished, like Paul say, I got a crown laid up. Yes, right. sir. I kept the faith. Yes, yes. Right. I kept the charge. Yes. Yes. I didn't did what I was supposed to do. Yes. Now okay. I'm waiting for that reward. Yes. Right. Go ahead. Okay, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity. Sisters and brothers, I want all of you to take this scripture home with you today. If you have the opportunity, do what? Let us do good unto all men. Yes. Especially unto them who are of the household of faith. If you do good to anybody, right. it's supposed to be your brothers and sisters in the church. Right. Yes. Yes. How could you be out there doing good to your friends in the world that come and hate your brothers and sisters right. that's working right. in this vineyard with you? Right. If you have the opportunity, especially do good to those who are of the same faith as you. Mm -hmm. mm. That's like the whole lesson right there. We're going to keep going. <laughs> First Peter 5 and 6. But we, we, wow. we just got to humble ourselves yes, a little bit. Yes, that's right. Yes, we do. Some of us just think that our job is greater than others. So I called. I was called. So I was sent, so I got to play the game. Not that my job is greater than anybody else's job. Right, right. I just got to play the game. Right. I called Brother Otis, pick me up from the airport, he come. Mm -hmm. I called Brother Ken, pick me up from the airport, they come. Mm -hmm. I called Brother Wise to do this, he does. Mm -hmm. You know, not that anybody's job is greater. Right. We all right. I have this job in his body. Yeah, right. And when we call it upon, we do the job. Yeah, right. 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 Well, Brother Bowie calls me, I answer. What do you want me to do? Okay, it's yeah. done. <laughs> I don't ask two, two. I don't ask two more questions than I need to. Because <laughs> anybody know him, you, you get straight to the point. Yeah. What do yeah. you want me to do? Okay, it's done. That's right. Because I love my job. I love working in this body. Yeah. First Peter right. five and six. But all things have to be done with humility, sisters. But it's First Peter five and six. We almost out of here. I know it's kind of long, but we are getting there. First Peter five and six. Peace, brother. Peace. Go ahead, brother. Right, Peter. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. He does what? what? For he yeah. cares for you. Do you know how hard? This is what I don't understand about Israel, how they speak against the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Do you know how hard Jesus is sitting on the right hand of the Father pleading for your behalf? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because once he starts pleading, you go going to die. Yep. Oh. Yep. That's why he's an intercessor. He said, Lord, give him another chance. Yeah. It's rough down there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I've been there. He's yeah. pleading yeah. on your behalf. Yeah. Yeah. If you knew how hard that Jesus was put pleading on your behalf, you put some respect on his name. That's right. right. Ooh. Put some Stay respect on, on his name. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. Go yeah. here, brother. Be so, be busy, because your adversary the devil as a royal lion. He's trying to take away members of this body. Yes. yes he He's trying to divide this body. Yes. Yes, he is. Go ahead. Because he, see, he can never be part of this body again. Mm -hmm. He can never be a son of God. No, no. Neither can those other angels that fail. They can never be rejoined back no. to this body. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Never. No, so they try to separate this body. Yeah. To destroy yeah. this body. Yeah. 
Go yeah. ahead. Walking about seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Sister, well, that's why we got to be humble. Because they say the same affliction, the same thing you're going through, the other parts of that body is going through the same thing. Yeah, that's why Galatians 6 chapter says, if your brother be overtaken with a false part, yeah. if he was the spirit, for spoil such a one in the spirit of meekness, consider yeah. yourself lest you be tempted. Man. Man, wasn't, 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 wasn't burdened. So you fit the law of Christ. Any man that thinks himself to be something when he is nothing to see himself. Right. Because when you think you're better than the next person, the mm. Satan gonna come in and tell you you're better than him. You mm. don't gotta be humble. Tear him down. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Curse at him. Scream at him. You uh, better than that system, bro. Uh, no, I'm not. Right. In the spirit right. of meekness, I'm gonna go try to recover him. Right. Because right. I'm not better than him. Right. I'm just one step away right. from being where he's at. Go ahead. Verse 10, but the God of all grace, who has called us into his eternal glory by Jesus Christ, after yes. that ye have suffered a while. He's going to do what? After you going through what you're going through, he's going to make you what? He's going to make you perfect. He's going to make you perfect, sister. But the whole creation grown it in travail yeah. to be delivered. Yeah. Yeah. We're like a pregnant woman right now trying to give birth. That's right. That's why when Israel come forth, when we get salvation, it's going to say, can a nation be born in one day? Because yeah. huh? we all been in that womb. We're in that womb yes. right now. To rebel, yes. right. Right. Trying to be delivered. Yes. Trying to bring forth righteousness. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Trying to purge and be bring forth righteousness. We're trying to give birth to those righteous babies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. But it's hard. Yeah. Somebody really groaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I be groaning. Yeah. Fighting this flesh daily, sister. Yeah. 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 I be having to have power talks with myself. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know how you just drive down the street and give yourself a power talk. Yeah, and you say, man, you shouldn't be doing that now. Right. Yeah, but then we gotta do better. Yeah, right. you have to have you, you, you do it, You might be your greatest motivational speaker. That's yeah. Right. yeah, you gotta motivate yourself to yeah. do good. Go ahead, right. brother. Finish that up. Make right. you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you, and he gonna settle you, sister. But Galatians five and thirteen. We got two more after this. Galatians five and thirteen. Well, if you don't talk to yourself, who will? People say talking to yourself is bad, but talking to yourself when you're encouraging yourself to do good is good to me. That's right. Well, somebody well, needs to talk to themselves yeah, and tell themselves yeah, to do, right. do right. That's right. That's for sure. Because if you don't love yourself, oh. you can't love nobody else. That's right. You know, when people they say hurt people, hurt people. Mm. When you hurt, you hurt everybody else around you. That's right. Because you ain't doing good in your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every time I see somebody depressed, but what they going through, they can't stand no good to nobody else. Mm -hmm. They hurt everybody around them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you help them get out that situation, now they they just the happiest person ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But we all been there. That's yeah. Right. Right. Yes, but you got to have the power to talk to yourself. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Do you know the purpose God created you and calls you to have for? Galatians five and thirteen. Go ahead, brother. Galatians five and verse thirteen. We got to. Have those good fruits. That's right. We got to bring forth good fruit. We got to purge all those evil things and bring forth good fruit. The book keeps telling you to bring forth good fruit. What fruit is he talking about? The fruits of the Spirit. Good works. That's right. 5 and 13. For brothers, ye have been called unto liberty only. Use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But if Go ahead. He, uh -huh. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. That's right. Go ahead. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Sister brothers, walk in the spirit. Yes. You won't do the lust of the flesh. If you have, if you spend all your time walking right, you won't find no time walking contrary to the word of God. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I spend all my focus just trying to walk right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I don't even got no time for nothing else. Mm -hmm. I be so busy walking. Yeah. I be taking baby steps. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, people like, brother, look, you got to move. I'm, I'm moving up. I'm, I'm baby steps. Yeah. I ain't worth this. The book said, don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow don't take care of itself. Yes. Right. Walk right. today. Yeah. Okay. Then That's when you right. get up tomorrow, Walk for the ball. Just take baby steps. <laughs> Some of y'all thinking about getting into the kingdom, man. You ain't nowhere near close to getting into the kingdom. Because you got to do some cleaning up now. Yeah, right. 
Right. You worry about what I'm going to do when I get into the kingdom of God. Oh, I can't wait till I get into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But you're sitting every day. You just need to step to <laughs> the <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Verse 17. Uh, well, the flesh lusts against the spirit, uh -huh. and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to another. That's right. So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. So the book tells you the spirit is willing, <laughs> but the flesh is weak. The yes. spirit wants to serve God. Yeah, you wake up every day wanting to serve God. Yes. When you get out that bed, you get dressed, you look yes. in the mirror, like 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 John said, he said, behold your natural every the glass, you yes. look good. Yeah. You want to serve God. Yes. But as soon as you get in that street, boy, uh, uh, <laughs> you forgot who God was. Yes. Yes. Because you serve that spirit. Yes. yes. He said he forgot what manner of man he was mm -hmm. when he got into the world. That's why you got to get out the world. Right. And you got to walk in the spirit and not after the flesh. Go ahead. Right. Because the flesh, boy, the flesh will have you doing some dangerous things. Right. The flesh will have you doing things you didn't even know you can do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> boy, yeah. tell you, brother. Yeah. And then you put the flesh with a bottle. Oh. You pay out with a bottle of Jack Daniels. Oh, boy. Oh. That's it. <laughs> Ooh, the flesh will have you coming out some man's house. Two o'clock in the morning, along with that Jack Daniel. <laughs> but I'm just telling you, sister, brother, that's why you got to walk in the spirit. Yes. But it's hard. It's hard. I'm telling it's hard. you. Go ahead, brother. Verse 18. But if ye be led of the spirit, you are not under the law. That's right. Go ahead. Now, the works of the flesh are manifested, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry. Witchcraft, hatred, Ooh, witchcraft. Somebody got to talk about witchcraft because that is very popular in this generation. Yes, mm. it is. It sure Somebody is. is at their house right now reading tarot cards. Oh, it sure is. Talking about they are serving the guy. Yeah, it sure is. Telling you they going to pull up, prophesy to you in the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that right? And you still ain't gonna be to stop yourself from dying, but you gonna tell me what's gonna happen in my life? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then you call that 1 800 number. They ask you, who is this? You should know who it is. You read the future. You know everything. You should have knew my credit card was going to decline. You should have to wait to the end of the phone call. Go ahead, brother. Please. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance. Emulation, wrath. emulation, wrath. Go ahead. Strife, sedition, heresy, Indians, murders. Who murders? Go ahead. Drunkenness, revelings, and fighting. Go ahead. And such like of that which I tell you before, as I also have told you in time past, that they which do these do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Ain't that what we read? Revelation twenty second chapter every yeah, Saturday. Yeah. Day? yeah. Go ahead, brother. But what, the, what are you supposed to have? Go ahead. But the truth of the spirit the fruit is of the, spirit, yes. the fruit of the spirit is what, brother? Uh, love, joy, joy, peace, long suffering. Woo, we got to talk about that long suffering. <laughs> you both to suffer long with your sister and brother. Yeah, they might get on your nerves every Sabbath day. Yeah. But you got to be patient and long suffering. Yeah, that's right. Yes, that's right. And you got to come on back next week and endure it again. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Gentleness, yes, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the afflictions and lust. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the they spirit. They keep talking about walking in the spirit. If yes. you live in the spirit, you gotta walk in the spirit. Yes. If you live in this body of Christ, you gotta walk in that body of Christ. That's right. That's right. If not, you just live in the body of Christ as in a word. You're not really in the body of Christ. You just, you just think you are. I mean, man, that's that's the baddest thing for you to think you've been doing something your whole life. See you know, you get to that door and you you ain't been doing it. Yeah. All this time you thought you'd been on a payment plan. Mm. Sure. Then you found out your license is suspended. Mm. Huh? Same thing about your life. All this time you've been thinking you're getting away and you just been getting by. Right. And you stand before the judgment seat 
and find out that you've been waiting, you've been found wanted yeah. in the balance. Yeah. Ooh, that's the scariest thing. Yeah. It's the, the hardest words to ever hear is the Lord say, depart from me. You work as an iniquity. Right. Right. I never knew you. Mm -hmm. Woo. You've been serving this God. You've been going to get water for the preacher. You've been cooking them good old meals on Sunday. Them ham hocks and them posts. <laughs> uh, for the church dinner. Then you've been working so hard in the church. Yeah. And you go before the Lord and he tells you, I never knew you. That's yeah. right. That's, that's, that's the most thing that, heart, that breaks your heart. Yes. For somebody you think you've been working for for the longest. Right. That's like you going to work every day. Then you go to get your check on Friday and the boss say, I don't even know who you are. You work here? Right, right, right. I don't get no check for you on my desk. Right. But I've been working here the whole week. Mm. I don't know where you've been working at, but you ain't been working here. Because I ain't got no payment for you. Yeah. Don't be that guy. Okay. Last verse. Go ahead, brother. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Let's go to Titus 2, the chapter. I call this the chapter of behavior. This is my favorite chapter. Anytime somebody get out of pocket, I take them to chapter Titus 2. This is the chapter of behavior. Because if you, if, you, if you don't know how to walk right, when we finish this chapter, you don't know how to walk right. Because it's going to instruct you from the oldest to the youngest. It's going to walk you all the way down. Because you know, some people be like, he a young fool. He's a, some, some old fools too. <laughs> Don't think because you're old, you can't be an old fool. Right. The old fool is the reason we got young fool. <laughs> I'm just telling you, the elders are the reason Israel's in trouble. They said yeah. in Ezekiel 8 chapter, they said, God don't see us. God has forsaken the earth. He said, all the elders in the magic, in the chamber of their own imagination, said, God don't see us. Israel said, God don't see the sins we do. And this is the reason that generation to generation we have fallen further and yes. further away from God. Yes. That elder is the one that's teaching on Sunday in, in the church. Mm -hmm. Telling the young folk that he don't got to keep the law. Right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Titus 2 and 1. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. Sisters and brothers, avoid vain communication. And corrupt communication. Mm -hmm. Only speak these things that become sound doctrine. Yeah. Something that's going to edify somebody. Right. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about it and it's not edifying them, why are you speaking? Mm -hmm. If it's not going to help the situation, why are you talking about it? Right. Go ahead. Verse 2. That the aged men be sober. The older men in the body got to show the so uh, younger men to walk sober. Yeah. Go ahead. Grave temperament. Grave patience. Good husband. Yeah. Show the other men how to treat their wife. Mm -hmm. If the dude in front of you that's 60 years old don't open the door for his wife, and you're 20 years old, what's going to teach you to open the door for your wife? Yeah, right. If your father never opened the door for your mother. Right. Huh? Right. It's about teaching the young people. Go ahead. Sound in faith, in charity, in patience. The aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. It's, not, it's, it's some wives that are failing right now because of their mother's failure. Mm -hmm. And I'm just being honest. Mm -hmm. They were never taught and trained by their mothers mm -hmm. to do these things, to teach the young women to be sober. Right. Mm -hmm. To love their husbands. Yeah. Go ahead. Not, now, young lady told me I don't know how to be a good wife because my mother wasn't one. Mm -hmm. And I understood that. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what? We, we, we have bad examples out here. Mm -hmm. Some men are fellow right now because they did not have fathers in their lives. Mm -hmm. To teach them these things. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Not fake accusers. Not false accusers. Uh -huh. Not false accusers. Not given to much wine. Teaches some good things. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. To you know, it's, it's a lot of Women out here that don't know how to raise their children because they say, my mother never raised me. Mm. My mother never raised me. She never talked to me. Mm -hmm. she never talked. I say, man, can you braid here? No, my mother never talked to me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all these things we have, we have fallen at, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. We have failed at all these things. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. To be discreet. Chaste. Chaste. 
Chase, keep that me. Hey, keep your business in the house. Mm -hmm. Oh. Don't nobody get to know your husband Johnny ain't working. Girl, my husband Johnny that lost his job again. <laughs> he can't feed the family. Girl, we going poor again. <laughs> nobody should know that. He said, "Be chased, be discreet. Go ahead, keep us at home. Keep your own house. You too busy trying to worry about your work husband cooking for him, and don't cook for your own husband. And in the house, I get to break some cookies for my work husband." Huh? I see this all the time. People bringing food for their work husband. And you say, what'd you cook your husband last? Like, Girl, I don't cook for him. I don't cook for that man. But you only cooking for your work husband. Work Go husband. ahead. <laughs> obedient to their own husband. Be obedient. If you and listen, sisters, if you if you don't obey anybody, the person you should be obeying is your husband. That's the one you should be obeying. Yeah, right. Be obedient to your own husband. And they be so nice to everybody else that they get home. <laughs> then they want to cuss their husband out. And a, and a husband want to cuss their wife out. But they such a, a good old man in the street. Mm. 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 If you to be good to anybody, the Lord said be good to your neighbor. Your husband and your wife is your neighbor. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. That the word of God be not blasphemed. Ooh. When you do not according to this, you are blaspheming the word of God. Ooh. You understand that? Whoa. You're not a good wife. You're not a good husband. You're not a keeper of your house. Yeah. You spread all your business around. You lie you mistreat each other. Mm -hmm. That's what the Lord told you in Malachi. Yeah. He told you, husbands, you come before my altar, my throne, with all of these tears and crying and asking me to give you a job. You ain't got no job. Yeah. You want a job. You want another house. You want another car. Right. But I bear witness. How you dealt with the wife of your youth. Yeah. Mm. How you dealt treacherously with her. Mm -hmm. You mistreated her. You abused her. Mm -hmm. And then you want to come crying to me. Mm -hmm. And she cried to me. Yeah. I'm hearing her, her, her cry. Because she tried she, she cried to me against you. Right. 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 But then you cried to me to bless you. Who I'm gonna listen to? I'm gonna listen to the one, the reference. Mm -hmm. Your reference, your job reference is your wife. Yeah, right, Lord. Has he been doing a good job? Oh Lord, he's been he's been mistreating me, he's been abusing me. Oh, that's your reference right there. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna employ you. Mm -hmm. Your reference is speaking against you in prayer. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 6. Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded. The young men be sober-minded, but they learn this from the older men. Go ahead. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. You know works. what a pattern of good works is? Then it never changes. You're not a drunk today and a servant tomorrow. Right. The worst thing you can do is be a drunk uncle at the family reunion. <laughs> then you want to come next week and preach the gospel. <laughs> huh? Nobody listens to the drunk uncle. <laughs> come on. Nobody listens to the drunk uncle. That's right. Then you want to come tell me what does say the Lord, but you was a drunk at the last family reunion chasing the young girls around. That's your nieces. <laughs> Um, now you want to tell me the goodness of the Lord. Yeah, and you were drunk, falling yeah. all over the place. Yeah. Nobody listened to that drunk uncle. I did when I was coming up. We laughed at him. Oh, drunk uncle talking again. Yeah. <laughs> From the basement. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Um, hey, but this is this is real stuff. Right, Sister, right. brothers. Yeah, that's right. He's telling you to be sober. And, and so a pattern of good work. Be the same today. The Lord don't change up. Nobody in the body should change up. Right. Be the same that you was yesterday. When I see this brother, he's always a servant of God. When I see this brother, he's always a servant of God. When I see this sister, that sister, that sister, they always serving the God. Yes. They don't never change. Yes. When I call Brother Wallace, I expect him to be the same way I call him every day. <laughs> and he is. He don't never he don't never I don't pick up the phone, he's not cussing at me. <laughs> he be want to pray for me all day. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody just bust out and start praying on the phone call. I said, why does I hurt my toe? Oh, Lord. I respect that from Mother Wallace. I respect that. Because he never changed. He has a pattern of good works. And I appreciate that about him. Go ahead, brother. Read. Thank you. It's a pattern of good works. Right, right. Pattern of good works. Go ahead, brother. I know. Okay. Young man. Go ahead, brother. Read verse eight. Okay, verse eight. Yeah. Sound, sound speech that cannot be condemned. Sister, mothers, you gotta have sound speech that can't nobody condemn. 
Huh? You can't be cussing on the phone one no, day okay. and tell me how good God is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just not going to believe you. I'm going to expect for you to start praying the cuss word my slip out. Amen. I'm prepared. I'm, I didn't like prepare myself. Like, they, they talking, but they might cuss at any minute. Yeah. Yeah. Do not give them the microphone. Right. Go ahead. Right. 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 That, he, that he is of the contrary. You know what huh. contrary is? Somebody who's against you and not a servant of God. You, 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 you make them consider their ways. Mm-hmm. That you can't be ashamed when you talk to them. Go ahead. Pot may be ashamed. Having no evil thing to say of you. Woo! Exactly. When I see certain brothers and sisters, I ain't got nothing to say about them. I ain't got nothing evil to say about them. Okay. Because what can you say evil against a servant of God? Right, right. Ain't that what David said? When they told me, when they told me, when Saul asked why he didn't kill me, right. he said, I was laid over in the cave. You could have killed me. Right. He said, I would not lay my hand on the Lord's authority. I'm not even going to be yes, evil against yes. you. I'm not even going to touch you because then I'd be in trouble. Yeah. If I speak words against the Lord's authority, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, I'm going to be in trouble because right. you're speaking words against the Lord. Right. Oh, that's right. right. Verse 9 Exhort servants to be obedient unto their master, their own master. You got to be obedient to your job. When you go to your job and a man pay you, he your master. You can't be at work cussing your boss out. I ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> then what did you come to work for if you wasn't going to do nothing? No, you can't no. do nothing in the parking lot in the car. No. <laughs> I'm be. And to please them well in all things. Not in some things. In all things. All all things. things. If your job is to make cookies on the cookie line, make every cookie that passes by. Don't do half a cookie and then you're doing your job. <laughs> they not paying you to make half cookies. Not yet. Do your job well. Yeah. And you're going to do a job. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Verse 10. Not purloin, but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn, adorn, you, right? adorn the doctrine of God, our Savior, in all things. That's for the, right. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. Yep. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. You know, you can do that in this present world. Job did it. Yeah. The book says Job ensured evil. He hated evil. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord found righteousness in Abraham. Yeah. The father of the faithful. Yep. Was it Abraham before Moses? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Before Moses even had the commandments? Abraham was already walking yeah. righteously. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Come on, yeah. so you can do it. That's right. Like that movie said, you can do it. <laughs> Go ahead. 13. <laughs> looking for that blessing hope and uh-huh. the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that yeah. he might redeem us from all iniquity. He came to redeem you, to purchase you back yes. with his blood. Yes, he, he came to buy you back from death, yeah. from the lake of fire, and gave you back access to the tree of life that Adam took away in the garden. He came to redeem you yes. from yes. sin, yes. 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 Lord. from your Thank past you, Lord. sins, yes. not that you should go out and create more sins. Thank you, Lord. He said, you sin willfully after receiving knowledge of the truth. There remain a more sacrifice for sin. Yes. He came to buy you back from that old iniquity, that old sin, yes. and purchase you from that. Yes. But if you continue to walk in it, then you are damned. Yes, go ahead. And purifying to himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Yeah, he must be zealous. He must be happy to do good works. That's yeah. right. Zealous. Yes. I yes. wake up yeah. thinking about a lesson I'm going to put together to preach. Yeah. To do good works. Yeah. And brothers and sisters to wake up thinking about serving God of Israel. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Now, the last place, Romans 8 and 1. Because he told you don't speak things that people are going to condemn you. So, sisters and brothers, as a servant of God, whenever you walk in, in this word and you turn away from this word, word all your family's waiting. Everybody's waiting to condemn you. Yeah, okay. they were ready to talk about it. Oh, 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 look at him. He was, oh, he was doing so good. Oh. Yeah. He was doing so good, but look at him now. <laughs> they be waiting for you to fall. Yeah. That's why I say, so the contrary have no evil thing to say against you. Yeah. It's somebody out there right now waiting for you to fail. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. waiting. 
Yeah. That's why they look at your stories on Facebook. They be waiting on you to fall. Right. So they can say, I, I knew he wasn't no okay. servant. I knew he wasn't okay. no servant. Right. I knew okay. she wasn't no servant. She talked all that stuff, but right. she ain't doing no walking at all. Right. Uh, okay. Take it time. Walking. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, they waiting for you yeah, they are. to be a failure. But you have to prove them differently by continuing to walk. That's right. That's what Romans 8 and 1 will tell you. Go ahead, Romans 8 and 1. What's it going to tell you? There's therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Hey, when you in Christ Jesus, there is no condemnation to you. There is no condemnation to them that's in Christ Jesus. Go ahead. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of the sin, sin and ahead. death. Go ahead. For what the law could not do, and that is, it was weak through the blood. Now, that law is not the commandments, but that's the law of animal sacrifice. Yeah. What that law could not do because it was weak in the flesh. Go ahead. What, what did Jesus come to do? God sent his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. Wait, in the likeness of? But he came to be an example to you that you don't have to sin. Right. He looked like he was like me and you, but he was not like me and you <laughs> because he walked perfectly in this walk. Okay. And he, see, he was set free. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's why he was the captain. Yeah. That's why he's the intercessor. Yeah. You think the Lord gonna let you plead for somebody else? You think the Father gonna let you let somebody plead for you that's dirty himself? Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, we. Yeah. No. no. Mm -hmm. Jesus was sent free. Yes, that's right. why he is the advocate. Mm -hmm. He is our advocate. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. He is. yes. He's He's our advocate. Yes, he He's telling. Only way he can tell the Lord to give him a little more time is rough down there because he was down there and he made it out. Mm -hmm. He tell him, I made it out. He can make it out too. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. that, that's how he's for the underdog. Yes. He's for the underdog. Yes. Mm -hmm. He never give up on you. Give up on yourself. That's mm -hmm. right. Go ahead. And condemn sin in the flesh. Let's skip on down to verse 6. What to be called in mind? To death. be. Fleshly minded is death. Go ahead. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Why? Verse 7. Because the cardinal mind is enmity against God. When I sit around and think about all the things I can't get into, it's like less than the Bible, the Word of God dwells in me. Right. You just start thinking of let you, that's why the book tells you about an idle mind. Yeah. An idle mind, when you're just sitting around thinking about all the things you can, that's what the book tells you to meditate on the Word yeah. day and night. When you start meditating on other things, boy, the devil know your weakness. Yes, he right. does. Yes, he does. You'll be like, I wonder how the love of my life is doing. <laughs> my high school sweetheart. And bow, she pop up in the supermarket. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you like, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's because the devil know your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. You right. know what you lusting after. Right. Oh, wow. Now he's going to see what you're going to do. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you, <laughs> you better meditate on this word. Go ahead, right. brother. For well, it is not subject to the law of God, neither. That's it right. can't be. A fleshy man cannot be subject to the law. Go ahead. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. If you're in the flesh, you cannot do what? Please God. You can't please God. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, maybe a little bit. I can serve God a little bit, right? No, you cannot. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 9. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be... That the Spirit of God dwell in you. That's right. Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Go ahead. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. That's right. But the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also Quicken your mortal bodies. Make by your his, mortal bodies alive. Go ahead. By his spirit that dwelleth in you. That his spirit to dwell in you. I'm alive when I when this word is in me. Mm -hmm. I'm living. That's why those bones in Ezekiel are dead, because they don't have that spirit in them. Right. That's why these dry bones in the valley, they are spiritually dead. If this word is in you, you are alive. Yes. 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 Go yes. ahead. Mm -hmm. Verse 12. Therefore, brother, we are debtors, not to the flesh, Woo. to live after the flesh. For if Ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye, through 
through the Spirit, do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. This is all the end of how we are part of this body of Christ, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. We have to cut mm -hmm. off all the things that are not good for the body. That's right. You know, sometimes you got to change the diet because mm -hmm. it's killing the body. Yeah, right. right. That's right. So now you got to change your spiritual diet because mm -hmm. it's killing the body. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 14. For as many as led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So what if you led by the devil? Mm. You're son of the devil. You're son of the devil. Son of the devil. <laughs> son of the devil. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that's just that's just like sounds right, right? Right. 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 If you serve the devil, you're the servant of the devil. Mm -hmm. He said you are your father, the devil. That's right. And he was a murderer from the beginning. So you are a murderer. Oh, 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 oh. He's a liar. He said when he spoke of a lie, he spoke of himself. Oh, he is right. a father of lies. Right. And no, no truth abide in him. Yes, yeah. So if you do those things, you are like like Julia says, shake your baby daddy? Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. I had to throw that out there because you always say that. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Verse 15. Oh, well, if man. he have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but he have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry out of father. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If so, be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified. So we are all suffering with Christ. That's what Jesus said. You got to take up your cross and follow me. Yes. We got to get out of here, y'all. Take up your cross and follow me. But this whole body is in travail. We all suffering to be delivered. Yes. The whole body got to come forth. Mm -hmm. That's why in the Hebrew 11 chapter, it said they without us right. cannot be made perfect. That's right. It tells you about all these died in faith, having not received a promise. Because there's only one body. Right. Can't right. nobody get this promise before we all get that salvation together. Yes, brother. Yes, sir. To make that body of Christ. Yes, that's right. This brother's not going to be saved before me. That's right. Because if he do, I won't have a problem. Like, hey, man, we all, we all working here together. Right, right, right. 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 You know, when, when, when direct deposit hits on Friday, everybody gets their direct deposit at the right. same time. That's right. I think. It depends on what you think. Like, right. You all going to get paid that Friday. Yeah. Right? That's right. So when, when payday comes, you all going to get paid together, right? Right. Go ahead. Why reckon that the suffering, verse 18, why reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be Sister compared? Brother, whatever you're going through, all this suffering cannot be compared to what you're going to get at that resurrection. Mm. That's right. You might be going through a lot right now, but just hang in there. It, 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 right. it can't even compare to what you're going to get that crown. Oh, man. Oh, man. So are you wondering, what's it a profit of man? To gain the whole world and lose his own soul. What shall a man give in his chance? Are you willing to give up salvation, right, for everlasting life, for something right now? Huh? Go ahead. To be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the Son. Sister, brother, we are all waiting to be manifested. And to join that body. Yeah. To be a son of God. Go ahead. Well, the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who had subjected, subjected him mm -hmm. the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Let's skip oh. up now to verse 24. Go ahead. Well, we are saved by hope, but hope. That is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why does he get hope for? Sisters and brothers, we don't see salvation, but we hoping for it. Mm -hmm. And we don't get it if we keep working for it. That's right. We don't see it. When you first get a job, you don't see get the paycheck on Friday, but you work for that paycheck. Yeah. Having faith that the guy go the guy gonna pay you, right? Right. Go ahead. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we have with patience wait for it? Likewise, let's, let's skip on down to verse 28. So we we doing all this hope, waiting yeah. for this perfect day for us to get that gift. Go ahead. And we know that all things work together for good to them, that little God, to them who are the call of court so to his purpose. So, so sister, brother, everybody got a job in his body. We all got a job. We know all things work together for the good of God. Right. 
Everybody's doing their job to benefit this body. Go ahead. 29. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. He said he foreknew you. Yes. <laughs> well, that's the crazy thing. God knows everybody. He knew what you were capable of before you even did it. Mm -hmm. wow. He know who gonna get salvation. Yeah. But the story gotta play out. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. He know who gonna be in that kingdom. Yeah. Oh, he know you. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know. He said he called the end from the beginning. Yes. 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 <laughs> awesome. <laughs> but he the story gotta play out though. Yeah, it's like we are actors in his story. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, his story, his movie, yeah. mm. his actors. Yeah. But you choose your role. That's right. Right now, you are starring your own sitcom. Wow. And some of our sitcoms suck. <laughs> <laughs> some of y'all sitcoms, I wouldn't would read again. <laughs> and, and, and to be honest, I'm just ashamed of watching them. <laughs> and sometimes I want to flip the channel on my own life and turn it off. But you can't. What you can do is you can change the narrative of your own story. Okay. And we can, right now you have the opportunity to rewrite the ending of your story. Right? Amen. It was looking bad. Right. But the editor, which is Jesus, yeah. has given you your story and telling you to rewrite it. Yes, yeah, sir. To change it. Yeah. So you can have a good ending. Right. Yes. Which is everlasting life. Right. Go ahead, brother. There. He put you, you, you got in that water to rewrite your story, to change your outcome. Go ahead, brother. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, predestinate them, he also called, and whom he called them, he also justified, and whom he justified them, he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If God be with us, who can be against us? He yeah. that spared not his own son. But delivered him up for us all. Who he didn't even stop his son from dying. Mm -hmm. How shall he not with him also free give us all things? Sisters and brothers, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes. That whosoever should believe on him should not perish. But have everlasting life, sister. Wow. He sent his only son into the world to die for our sake. Right. Even when his son cried out to him and says, Father, if it be possible, yeah. let this cup pass from my mouth. And he said, But not my will, thy will. And what was the will of the Father? To kill him. Yeah. To offer him for us. Right. Right? That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Go ahead, brother. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemns? Mm. It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also made concession for us. Verse 35. Who shall what? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Who shall separate us must we join his body? Yes. Who can cut away his body? Nobody, right? Nobody. Only you can separate yourself. Yes, Who right. can separate us from the love of Christ? Go ahead. Shall tribulation or distress? Hey! Can pestilence separate you? COVID-19, 2021? No. Huh? No. <laughs> 22, 23? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or You may be holy. Peril. Is that going to separate you from the love of God? No. no. That's what God is in trouble in the wilderness. We lusted out the strain meat. We lusted out, hey, we, we want chicken. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Listen, I flew in quail. Mm -hmm. I caused the east wind to fly in birds, baby. Mm -hmm. And you want chicken? <laughs> You're not Israel, I always want some chicken. Yeah. Go ahead. But they wanted meat. And the Lord rained manna from heaven. Right. He gave you bread from heaven. Right. And you still want meat. Yeah. So can hunger separate us? No, go ahead. Or peril or sword. As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all day long. We have account, we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. 
So nay, in all, in all these things, we are more than conquerors yeah. through him yeah. that loved us. Sister, brother, we can overcome all yeah. things in the name of Jesus. Everything we go into, we can overcome it. Because Jesus said, cast your cares on him. That's he said, right. he cared for you. That's you right. Everything you go going through in the name of Jesus. That's right. yeah. I'm persuaded of that. Go ahead. Well, I, am I am persuaded that neither death, sister, nor life, when you die, you can't get away from Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's going to raise you up. That's right. And if you if you yeah. got everlasting life, he's going to join you to this yeah. body. Mm -hmm. I'm persuaded of that. Because he yeah. promises that. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. No life, no angels, no principalities, no powers, no things present, no things to become, things to come. No height, no depth, no any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Jesus Christ our Lord. Sisters and brothers, once you join yourself to this body, can't nothing separate you from that. Right. Except yeah. yourself. Yeah. By sin. I thank you for your time. Yeah. 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 Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Sorry it was so long, but they have no, no. no, it was right.